Okay. Uh, welcome everybody. <laughs> I'm Erin. I'm uh, I'm here to teach you an acrylic painting tutorial step by step here on Twitch. Uh, the painting today you can see to my right. It's this nice wave splash vibey little painting with a nice uh, kind of cool sky. It's a very different sky, very cloudy, very like cotton candy. Not really cotton candy, is it? What did we call this? We called it something. It wasn't cotton candy, but it was all like warm tones and peaches and nice uh, yeah nice warm colors. And then we have this. Uh, yeah, turquoise water, nice wave splash, cool rock. And that's the painting. That's the title of the painting, by the way. Vibe skin now. Uh, if you have a suggestion for a title of the painting, feel free to stick it in chat. I'd love to uh, see your suggestions because I will be uploading this to YouTube afterwards. Uh, so yeah, give me some ideas and maybe yours will be a title. Um, I upload all of my tutorials to youtube.com slash paints in case anyone's curious. So if anyone's just tuning in and looking to paint this a little bit later, uh, you can look out for that on my YouTube channel. I'll try and post that up as soon as possible. Uh, in terms of how this is going to work though, I'm actually going to switch to this screen and I'm going to paint along with you. So you see my painting here, you see this blank canvas here, that's what I'm going to paint on with you. You can still see the original down here, so you can look at what it's, uh, what it's going to look like at the end, and we can all just paint together. So for those who have never done this before, um, you're welcome to paint along with me uh, step by step, kind of every single step. You can change things up if you want, if you want to do different colors or a different layout, switch the canvas around, you can do whatever you want. So uh, just feel free to use this time to get creative, do whatever you want to do, even if it's not what I'm doing, just like draw or sculpt or something. Uh, yeah, do whatever you need to do. Just a little bit of Friday night painting or um, Friday night creativity rather is uh, what I'm trying to what I'm trying to uh, encourage here. So yeah, do whatever you like. Uh, in terms of supplies, I'll be using the same regular five paint colors that I always use. I'll be using red, yellow, phthalo blue, black and white, all five. And then for brushes, I'll use the usual three that I have. I have a large flat brush, I have a medium round brush, and I have a small round brush as well. Um, other supplies I would recommend grabbing if you're still kind of setting up. I would grab a towel or paper towel. That's always good to have. Um, some sort of a paint palette for your paint. I am still using Volcano Plate 2.0, who is still not a volcano, but he is getting there. He's getting nice and strong. Uh, a cup of paint water is good and an apron or something to um, protect yourself from paint even if it means just like using an old sweater that you don't like. Thank you again Terry for the apron as always. Uh, and then other places to find me if you're watching here on YouTube and you want to follow me anywhere else or if you're on Twitch right now and you want to follow me anywhere else I have an Instagram account under Aaron Bun Paints. That's where I post all of my um, tutorial designs, personal artwork, bullet journal stuff so you can follow me there. And then on Facebook is where you'll find event pages for the uh, tutorial that I do. So if you really like the step-by-step -step tutorials and you want to kind of keep up with when I'm doing those, Facebook is a good place to go and I'm Aaron Bun Paints on Facebook as well. So all of those spots, just type in Aaron Bun Paints, click the first page you see, it's probably gonna be me. Yeah, I'm everywhere. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the introduction. So if you're going to join me for a cheers, you can grab your drink. Otherwise, uh, yeah, we'll start in a couple more minutes. Um, right, cool. First step. <laughs> First step we're gonna do. Uh, you can see my mouse moving around on my digital version here. We're gonna start in the sky, of course. We're not going to worry about these cool vibey clouds, um, whatever you want to think of them as, just colors of light, anything like that. We're not worrying about those, we're just doing the background to start. So we're just doing like a nice kind of medium blue to light blue gradient. So I'm gonna use a large brush as usual, a large flat brush. First thing I would do, as always, is dip it into your paint water. And we're going to mix together blue and white. I would do about half, half, maybe a little more white just to keep it a little lighter of a color. Because we want a nice light background for all of our brighter kind of like peaches and pinks and yellows to go on. So start off maybe a wee bit lighter and then we're gonna make it even lighter as we go along. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Yeah, New Year Toots, it's a new year. We run by our own New Year system here on Aaron Bun Paints. We just do, uh, yeah, just two years. This is year two, thank you very much. <laughs> Tutorial, get out! <laughs> One year of tubes. No! <laughs> tube anniversary. <laughs> One year ago, we had our first tube. <laughs> Jeez. All right, so you can see I'm just mixing uh, blue and white. I would say I added maybe a little bit of extra white in there, so it's more of like a, a light to medium blue. 
But again, your painting, do what you want. I'm just gonna stick that right at the top as usual, back and forth. And please let me know if music is a wee bit loud. Again, I'm still kind of playing with that here and there. I'm still getting used to what I need to look for in terms of how loud or how quiet it is with the little sound bars. So feel free to give your suggestions on music. Thank you, compared to my voice. All these paintings are tubular. Oh my God, too good. It all accumulates in egg tube. Ah, our one year anniversary is egg tube. Nope. We explore the egg tube. <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> Community wide event. It's egg tube time. <laughs> We do what we want. It's not just you doing what you Exactly, exactly. Everyone does what they want. This is beautiful, Sharon. It's not just me. It's everybody. Yes. All of you get the command. I do what I want. <laughs> that would be funny, actually. Maybe I'll make... I'm trying to think of um, more channel point redemptions. I know that was kind of joked about earlier, but for reals, um, I see on a lot of other channels, people can redeem channel points for custom commands. So if you save like... 20 or 30,000 buns, um, I can make a custom command for you. And I, I didn't know about that freedom, not to say I don't trust anyone in the community, but I just wouldn't want like someone who, uh, you know, I don't really know who may have lurked for 20,000 worth of buns to be like, I get a command now. I know it's all up to me, but I just, things I want to monitor, right? Anyway, that might be a funny idea. You could get a command and the command is automatically, I do what I want, but it's your name. That would be kind of fun. Yes, no, yes, no. But what if we made an egg tube? What if we did? Do you really want that though, Doe? I'm shocked this is coming from you. <laughs> what if you taught us how to make an egg tube? Is this the content you want to see? You specifically? Really? I feel like I've seen that. <laughs> I feel like I've actually seen a video where someone is making an egg tube. Um, if I'm correct, it was the sausage guy. My brother showed me a, a YouTube channel and this guy just makes different sausages. And I think he may have made an egg encased type thing. I think, but I could be wrong. A Japanese omelet. Maybe I was just looking at a different video. I don't know. But yeah, I want to remember his name. The guy's whole YouTube channel was just making sausages out of things. Like he'd make like a Thanksgiving turkey sausage. Just stuff, stuffing thing into sausage casing, see how it goes. You'd have a lot of commands. Yeah, you think so? But it would be fun if it was a consistent thing, you know? Everyone has their own I do what I want and they can feel the I do what I want energy. Cool, right? Maybe I up the channel point price? I don't know. I don't know what I'd price it at. I feel like most people have it at like 10k, 20k? From what I've seen? Yeah, I don't mind having a lot of commands. Oh well, there's also a Rolo, a Rollobot product that produ produces a scrambled egg into- No! No, 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 no! I don't like it. Oops. That paint went somewhere, I don't know where it went. Isn't that- <laughs> I think it might be. <laughs> I think it might be. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> If Ollie does a sausages, then yes, probably. I don't think there's many others, though, who do this. I don't think there's a lot of channels who do just sausage content, so... <laughs> I remember uh, Yeah, um, Doe was saying <laughs> this guy made water sausage. <laughs> he just took a casing and filled it with water and then put it in a pan and tried to cook it. And he can't cook it because it's water. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, it's halfway down, Shannon, Sharon, yeah. Um, you can go maybe a little bit further than halfway uh, because the water will be about halfway up. So if you want to use the water, cover the sky and kind of use that for a nice straight line, then you can do that. But yes, the sky goes about halfway down for sure. Oh my God. Abstract, I'm not currently, no. I know of a YouTube channel that created an unholy uh, abomination of a hot dog with maple bar bun, topless sardines. That sounds... Cream cheese frosting, that sounds... I usually love cream cheese frosting, but not in that combo. I don't think I would. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> the water sausage, that's killing me. Cooks a water sausage. Why isn't it done yet? It seems raw. 
<laughs> it's not solidifying what happened. <laughs> The camera's still a teeny bit off. I had to move my C stand right from all the celebrations earlier, so things might be a tiny bit tilted, but I think that's about right there. Cool. Straight ish. All right, so yeah, Sharon asked, uh, you can bring this about halfway down. Sorry, I haven't really been saying what I'm doing. Man, I'm really distracted. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I did lighten up the blue as I went. Wow, wow, wow. I should be talking more. Um, I lightened up the blue with some white and I blended it in. Oh, wow. I'm hardly teaching right now. Um, so yeah, adding white to the blue color, blending into that medium blue, and then bringing it down about halfway down is what I did. If anyone needs clarification, let me know. I'm so sorry I missed that. That was just, uh, yeah, autopilot there. Uh, cat and crunch, ew, disgusting. Gross. Vegan black metal chef, never heard of him. <laughs> Post him uh, in Discord if you want, Shannon. Uh, yeah, I stopped with the medium blue about like an inch or two down and then I just lightened it up and started blending all the way down This is what happens when I go offline for what it's been three days four days Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Yeah, three days in a row eek eek. I'm forgetting how to tutorial Give everyone a minute or two if anyone's catching up or if you need to uh, yeah, if you need to have me re-explain Embarrassing. We'll be doing the uh, the ocean color next. We'll be making a nice teal and bringing that down. I'll go nice and slow with that one too. I'll re-explain how to blend or explain for the first time because I didn't explain the first time. Anyway. Uh, Tammy, welcome in. What do you listen to while streaming? Um, specifically, I'm listening to a playlist on Spotify right now. Um, if you'd like to know it, it's called Chill slash lo-fi copyright free. If you're interested in any of the artists I'm listening to, let me know. Like if you liked the last song or two, I can absolutely show you. Um, yeah, I can I can type it in chat if you're interested. They're all just very, um, yeah, you can hear kind of no lyrics if you can hear it in the background. There's no lyrics. It's just kind of nice soft melodies, maybe some little nature sounds here and there. But yeah, just nice relaxing, uh, yeah, lo-fi, lo-fi beats. Mm -hmm. Welcome in, Tammy. Uh, no, not yet, Charlene. It's still in the fridge. I need to take photos with it. I want to take a little photo, uh, photo shoot with it. It's okay. There's a bit of a tube curse hidden in the shoes. <laughs> I think so. It threw me off. I was like, tubes, no! <laughs> tube curse. It cursed us all. Yeah, we'll talk about blending in a sec. It's no worries. Okay. Um, so next color we're doing is the teal color again. I'll pay way more attention now. <laughs> so where my mouse is right here, it's about halfway up the canvas. We're going to, it's like the same thing with the blue. We start with kind of a darker teal and then we're just going to lighten it up and blend down. So I'll go through that nice and slow with everybody. Um, so this time we're using three colors to mix. We have white, we have blue and a little bit of yellow and that's what's going to make it this uh, kind of tealy color. If we add too much yellow, it's going to be a little too green unless you want it to be a nice like green sea. That's cool. Just add more yellow. Um, but if you want it more teal, you'll uh, you'll be mixing blue and white together to make kind of your medium blue like the sky and then putting some yellow to uh, make it a little more teal so it differs from the sky. Uh, let me grab my yellow just a wee bit. There we go. So first I like to mix my blue and white just to kind of get a nice, uh, as I said, kind of medium blue. So something very similar to our top of the sky here, kind of a medium to light blue, just something nice and bright. And then I'm grabbing little bits of yellow, mixing that in or on top, and that turns it a little more teal. You can see it already going there. And again, the more yellow you add, the more green it will become. If you want to like test it, you can. I think I maybe want a tiny bit more yellow personally. That's a little more teal. So yeah, up to you. Lots of different shades of teal you can be um, you can be using. Um, AJ, welcome in. Thanks for following. Is it AJ or a longer name? AJ Diz, 23. Can't forget the 23. Hi, I'm in the middle of teaching a painting tutorial. Feel free to chat in the chat. I go kind of back and forth between teaching and chatting. So welcome in. Thank you for following. 
So first off, I'm just doing a nice straight horizontal line right across. Um, as I was saying to Sharon earlier, you can either just kind of go right up to the sky and uh, fill the gap, or you can go on top of the sky. Like if you need to go on top of your light blue to help straighten out this line, you can totally do that. Acrylic paint stacks very, very nicely and it dries pretty quickly as well. So uh, you can now go right on top of the light blue. It's probably nice and sticky. It's probably not just fresh and uh, wet right now. So you can go right on top. It'll rest very nicely, uh, yeah, to give yourself a nice straight across line, straight as possible. And then I'm just going to bring that color down a little bit more before lightening it. Hope the cake doesn't get a nickna get the nickname mold soon. No, <laughs> I would never. <laughs> Too blessing. <laughs> it's not. It's not. <laughs> I would never do that. Eek. That's a rude nickname. Yeah, I truly hope, like, honestly, because it's uh, covered in fondant, I don't really know how long cake lasts when it's covered in fondant. I would assume longer because it's kind of encased, almost. Because I want to eat some of it, but again, I really want to take some photos. So I'll try to get on that tomorrow in between streaming and movie if I have the energy or Sunday. I'm not sure. Okay, so when I have my first little bit of teal, I'm just going to lighten it up a little bit more with white, which is not on my plate right now. So I just need to add some. Go. Let's shift a little bit of white in there. I'm going to mix it into the teal. Oops. And I'm going to apply it to the canvas. Sometimes I like to apply all of it and then blend or just kind of blend as I go. But this time I'll just kind of blend right when I apply it here. So to blend, I'm just moving my brush back and forth in between the first and second teal. And that removes any harsh lines. So that's what I was doing up here with the blue. I'm doing it with the teal now, just going back and forth. So you now have this kind of darker teal coming down to the light blue there. Mm-hmm. How young are you? Should have been here for the birthday stream. Let's just keep it a secret. You all said nine. <laughs> that's perfect. <laughs> Thank you, Doe. <laughs> Cake doesn't last as long in fondant because it holds the moisture so it mo Oh, really, Tammy? Oh no, I gotta go quick. Lynn! Lynn, thank you for resubscribing. Welcome in. It's so good to see you. Nine months! We got a little Twitch baby! Oh, CJ too! <laughs> Both of you at the same time! Hi, Lynn! Thank you, CJ! Eleven for you. Oh my gosh, almost a year! Thank you so much to both of you! Hype in the chat! Because I cannot right now! I'm just grabbing more of that teal, everybody, and moving it down. Now that I've done the blending, I can just kind of add more and bring it down the canvas a bit more. Okay, that's interesting. Too. I'll uh, I'll try my best to get on it. I would hate to I would hate to open up Noodle and to see mold in there. That makes sense to me though. Holds the moisture so it molds faster. Oh no. <laughs> um, hospital room. Thanks for following. Hey. Hope you're well. I'm uh, I'm just doing a step-by-step -step acrylic painting tutorial right now, so I'm kind of going back and forth between teaching and chatting, so feel free to join the chat whenever or just uh, watch along. If you have any questions, let me know. But yeah, Lynn, welcome in. Nice to see you. Yeah, I am your Twitch baby. Oh, <laughs> after nine months, Lynn has been born, everybody. <laughs> Officially, you are born after nine months. <laughs> That's funny. Love you, Mr. Little Cake. Thank you. Yeah, Lynn, I knew you would. Oh, I'm so happy you saw him. I was just saying to everybody, Lynn, that I'm going to take some more pictures of him. I keep meaning to, and I haven't. Like, I want to take some of uh, the cake and uh, an actual chicken noodle together. He's actually in the living room right now because I was trying to do that earlier. Um, yeah, to get some, like, comparisons going. So, yeah, you can look forward to that. We'll get lots of fun little angles and fun little scenarios, hopefully, hopefully before um, before any cutting is done. He's still whole in the fridge, happily living in his uh, little cold environment. Yeah. I've just been eating Dudo, the Dudo cake. He did not survive long. There's like a couple pieces left of him. I very much enjoyed that. Okay, um, and you don't have to go all the way down. I'm kind of stopping just, just close to the bottom. You can kind of messily stop whenever because you can see the rocks will cover up that area anyway, along with the splash pretty much. But yeah, if you have maybe an inch left over, save your paint. You don't need to uh, go all the way down if you don't want to. So I'll just leave that there for a minute or two. Uh, again, as people catch up or if you have questions and then I'll move on, I'm gonna go back up to the sky, I believe next. 
Um, check your paint. If anyone has very, very wet paint up here, just let me know. I can see a tiny bit of wetness, but if I rub my fingers, there's like almost nothing coming off. So I think we'll be good. Uh, if anyone is having trouble though with that, let me know and I can, uh, I can adjust probably. We can, we can do the first island probably if we need to. <sighs> Sushi, welcome in. I'm good. Thank you. Hope you're well as well. I don't know if you're painting along tonight, but welcome in. Oh, Tammy, you're my first Twitch stream. No way, trying to learn. Oh, okay, yeah, Tammy. If you have any questions, even about Twitch, let me know. I can uh, teach you a painting and teach you Twitch. <laughs> um, I'm still new. I'm still within a year of being new. I can still say that. You saw some people resubscribing for 11 months. I'm just coming up to my one year anniversary. So I was you a year ago. I was uh, doing my first Twitch stream and kind of learning all these fancy things on Twitch. So if you have any questions about any of the buttons you see or like what are people meaning when they say this or that or the alerts popping up, the dinglings, like let me know what they are and I can uh, I can explain. And everyone in chat is very kind too. They'll probably explain before I do, so. Akai, oh my gosh, welcome in. Hi, wow, really nice to see you back and your crew. Hello, we're being raided everybody, party nine. Akai, hi, hi. Art lovers unite, oh my gosh. Yeah, Flora crew, yeah, we <laughs> she said Akai or Flora. Welcome in, welcome in. We've got Teeter Totter, Neutronics, Long Fungus, Long Fungus, <laughs> Dre Score. Hi! Welcome in! Thank you for shouting out. Ah! I don't, I'm not sure if I knew you streamed. I know you've been in here a bunch. It's been lovely chatting, but now we know you stream. You're close to 100 followers. Ooh! I'm 97. I'm number 97. If anyone wants to check out, what were you doing today? I was gonna say if anyone wants to check out art, but I think you were playing something? Yeah, shady part of me, excuse me. So some gaming. You stream art though. If you want to talk about the game or your art, feel free. It seems like your community calls you Flora, so I'll stick with Flora now, okay? Now that I know your community likes that. Welcome into you and your, your, uh, your, your friends. I don't know why I kept saying fans, friends, fans. Um, I'm doing a step-by-step -step acrylic painting tutorial right now for anyone who just popped in. So I'll be kind of chatting with chat as well as teaching people the step-by-step -step painting right here. But yeah, Flora, let us know what you're up to with your game or your art recently. But not possible. Okay. Oh, no worries, Lynn. I appreciate it. Either way. Just got here hopefully. Yeah, sure, Sushi. I've done just the two steps. So if you know how to do the blending and the blending, it's blue and teal. That's it. So let me know if you have questions. You will learn first channel. Yeah, yeah! I try my best to uh, to teach everybody. Yeah, exactly. I teach painting and Twitch. <laughs> Welcome! Uh, do, do, do. Yeah, of course, of course! Yeah, so Flora's at, I think, 97, unless some of you have, like, popped over at this point, so feel free to give her a follow if you're interested. 98, someone did. You're two away from 100. Yeah, stream art and I stream games here and then. Cool, okay. Yeah, I was looking at your uh, past two streams that looked like games. I'd love to pull up art if you have like an Instagram account you want us to show off. Um, I can't pull up anything just because of the tutorial. I'd like to keep focused on the tutorial, but we'd love to post any links in the chat for you or anything so you can whisper them to me or a mod and they'll help you out for sure. It looks like you're doing some digital art in your uh, your stream from like last week. So if anyone's interested in digital art, check her out. I see a Zelda reference in there. Cool, cool, cool. Seal, I'll have to go. No worries, no worries. See you around. Aw, oh, thanks, Seal. I appreciate it. No worries at all. Yeah, it's a cool perspective one. Yeah, it's kind of different. Just finished the game. Oh, cool. Congrats. Okay. But I had an internet out, so I grabbed everyone. Aw, oh, thanks. Okay. Aw, oh, that's nice. You were like, quick migration. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. How you make teal color? Uh, blue, white, and yellow. Just a little bit of yellow makes it more teal. Oh, thank you, Groki. So that's uh, Flora's Instagram. If anyone's interested, you can check her out there. Perfect. Got digital art on there. Perfect, lovely. If you want some good digital art, go, go head over, check her out. Yeah, I can see you kind of incorporate some gaming references too into the art. I always love that. Cool, oh, cool. Thank you for sharing. Thank you, uh, thank you, Grok, for grabbing that too. Appreciate it. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, then my ones are quick. <laughs> I think they sometimes pull up and they just go go look for the insta. There's like here it is. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> They're so good. 
Oh, Final Fantasy. Okay, okay. Yeah, I saw Zelda. What was the? I saw like controllers that you were doing, like the Switch controllers too. So I just always like little references like that. They're always nice. Okay. Yeah, I've never played Final Fantasy, but I've heard a lot about it. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the toot for a sec. Feel free to keep chatting everybody in chat, and then uh, I'll get back to uh, the comments here. So we're gonna work on the sky a little bit. So as I said before, the blue should pretty much be dry. Maybe you have like a tiny wet spot here and there, uh, but acrylic paint dries in like five to 10 minutes as long as you're not blobbing it on. So it should be pretty good. Uh, and we'll just start by uh, adding some color. <clears throat> so again, the colors I kind of stuck with were pinks, peaches, yellows, uh, kind of pastel colors. I actually attempted this painting twice. I kind of had a vision for the wave and kind of what I wanted the sky to be. And the first time I did the sky, um, I made it a little dark just for me. I, I didn't really like how dark it was. So just kind of note that I really went very pastel in this one. You can see some kind of darker pinks on the very top, but we start with the pastel colors so that we stay nice and light to begin with, kind of safe. And then we can get a little bit darker and just add small little splotches of like darker pink, darker uh, peach if we want, darker yellow. Uh, but it's kind of opposite than usual. We're actually starting lighter and then we'll get darker. So I'm going to start with just a nice light pink. Uh, I'm going to use the large flat brush for that. We're going to use white and red paint, white and red mixed together. And again, we're starting with a nice light pink. So you'll want just a little bit of red into your white. We'll do some darker pinks a little bit later, but for now, see on the plate here, I'm just going to grab a little red and a large amount of white, and it's going to create a nice light pink color. Make my entire church myself, so all the assets are Yeah, okay, cool, cool. I love that. I love that. Yeah, I've uh, I've made my emotes. I've made some of these layouts and banners and stuff, like the banner for my birthday. It's It's fun to do. It's fun to do, Flora, if you're like, okay with learning a little bit and just like experimenting a bit with uh, whatever program you've been using. I've been using Procreate. Yeah, it's uh, I think it's a lot easier than a lot of people think. If you just watch a couple little YouTube tutorials or YouTube videos, you can really learn a lot for sure. Okay, so I've got a nice light pink. Uh, and you can even kind of marble the color if you want. So if you like the idea of doing a brush stroke that's not all one color, you can kind of move a little more white or a tiny bit more red in and just lightly mix. And then that way the color is not fully mixed. See how it's kind of marbled together. You can have little swirls of white and swirls of pink. I'll be doing that on purpose sometimes to get some different strokes of color. So just keep that in mind. You can always marble just by lightly kind of moving two colors into one another. And then your brush has kind of like lots of different pinks on there. It'll have a light pink and some white and some even lighter pink that will all come out with one stroke. So I've got my brush ready. Uh, and I'm just going to do kind of larger rectangular strokes, kind of coming either down to the right or down to the left. Everything kind of curves down. That was my idea that all the clouds are kind of just like curving down in that very, very um, light curve shape. So I'm just going to load up my brush every two or three strokes because I want really nice bold strokes. Just very, very light, wispy, trying to kind of like delicately touch move and then release. So they're all kind of rectangular kind of curve motions. And again, you can think of these however you want. I kind of was trying to do some sort of a cloud effect. If you want to think of them as just kind of like rays of light, maybe we're not even like on Earth real life. We can be kind of out somewhere where there's really cool beams of light hanging out in the sky all the time like this. I don't know. More abstract clouds. That's kind of what I was going for personally. But yeah, think of them however you want. They're just nice colors in the sky. So you can see I'm starting to fill up this kind of top area here. I'm leaving a little bit more space down here for yellows, but I'm kind of sticking a little more in the middle or top. So I've got some light pinks. Again, feel free to change your shade as you go. You can add maybe a tiny bit more red or a tiny bit more white. And then stack a couple more on. You can see that's a different shade just stacking little bits at a time. And I want to go slow because just enjoy the process. I mean, first of all, just go slow to enjoy it. But second of all, like I said in my first painting, I think I kind of overdid it. So um, I'm really making sure right now, I see that battery, I'm changing it. I'm really making sure right now just to go nice and slow with it. So I'm not going to overdo it. Battery switch. They're all over here. I'm exhausted already. What time is it? 8.30? Yeah, that's an early, that's an early exhausted battery. I think these guys are starting to 
It's starting to go a little bit, actually. There we go. Cool, cool. Okay, I'm just gonna start to catch up on comments now that I have a quick second here. Oh, nice, Tammy, that's good to hear. That's a painting piece or something else? You said your commission? Oh, thanks, Lynn. Thanks, Tammy, for answering sushi there. Yeah, look some stuff. That's all I did. Yeah, Flora, that's uh, that's exactly what I did. I um I just went straight to YouTube, and if I needed to learn something, I would just type in the question. Um, <clears throat> and I think I just started with like Procreate Basics or something like that, and I just watched people make art. I'm uh, I'm a little more visual, I would say, so just kind of watching people, even if they're not really verbally describing, just watching what they do in the menus and like step by step in terms of layering and things like that. Um, I found that very helpful. I saw someone just like make a bunch of fruit, for example, They're like here, here's who I add the shading on the apple. I do this and then a masking layer and blah, blah, blah. And I learned a lot in like 10 or 20 minutes. So yeah. Yes, I did. Thank you, Lynn. It's been really, really nice. Um, as we all know, I had some offline time. I ended up taking Tuesday night off from streaming, which was a good idea because I actually got some stuff done on Tuesday. That's when I ordered all of my shipping supplies. That was like good couple research hours and like doing all these final orders and stuff. So that was very beneficial. Um, and yeah, otherwise I've been doing a little bit of work here and there and trying to relax a little bit. So it's been a really good week. Thank you, Lynn. Yeah. Mm hmm. No worries, Christy. I'll see you later. Yeah, petals. Oh my gosh, Flora, you're so right. Very creative. Mm hmm. Flogiston, hey. Oh, have you never, have you never painted along, Flogiston? I know you're uh, here quite often watching. Um, I'd be sh I'm shocked. You've never painted along before? You'll get there one day. Do, do Fridays not really work for you? Is that why? Neutronics. Ooh, I used to have that a lot with old batteries. I got a dummy battery that is hardwired to the wall worth the money. This one has it. This one has it. I just don't have one for this one. I don't know why. <laughs> Everyone asks me why I just don't get one. And it's kind of just a meme with the battery at this point, Neutronics, I think. <laughs> like we have that command for when it goes dead. It's like, I'm exhausted and all that. So it's kind of just a funny joke at this point, but I am getting to a point. If these start to go in terms of like length of, uh, length of time being used if they're down to an hour. They used to be a solid hour and a half. Um, that was more like an hour today. So if they start to do that, then uh, I might have to invest in another little uh, Wally C adapter for sure. Oh, mixed media, cool, Tammy. Um, if you want to explain more, I'd be very interested. I'll let you all paint wishing you could. Oh, no worries, Lynn. <laughs> People leave. Oh, thanks, Lynn. Thank you. I appreciate it. Have a good evening, you too, you too. Yeah, I get that. You can learn so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like, just like you and me here and <laughs> meeting with everyone else on Twitch. I've learned so much just by watching, really. And like a quick question here and there, you know, if I miss something, like people on Twitch specifically are always, I think, so willing to help in the art community. They're like, oh yeah, I'll tell you all about everything I'm doing. They're <laughs> just like spilling info. So it's really, really great. But yeah, definitely more visual. Like, that's how I first learned was just kind of watching Bob Ross and kind of picking up what he was doing. All right, uh, the other thing I'm doing, I'll just point out, you can kind of flip your um, your brush so that you get some wider strokes. You can see I mostly do wide strokes, but feel free to flip it. You can use the thin edge and do a couple thin strokes. I like to do that kind of at the bottom when we start to transition. So I'll have some like lighter pink strokes that I can put some peach on top of. I think this might be a little bright. I'm just gonna adjust, hold on. No, nope, that's about right. Okay, fine. Uh, yeah, so just as a note, you can adjust if you're using the thin edge or the thick edge. I think I'm good for my pink, so I'm gonna wash off my brush. I'll wait for everyone for a minute or two, and then we can keep going. Yeah, thanks, Charlene. Yeah, it was a little bit of both. Again, it, especially Tuesday was good. I, um, I was sad to kind of cancel stream, even though, again, like I didn't even have it up on a schedule. That was part of the problem. I don't know if you guys noticed. I hadn't updated my schedules by that point. <laughs> I was like, I've missed so many things that I usually do because it's because I was planning for like Sunday stream and Monday stream, all the big birthday streams. So I think some things got left behind. I had a lot of messages to respond to about like private events or questions or whatnot. So I just felt like it was a good time to catch up. And I did, but yeah, it's been good overall. Um, sending you, oh, thank you, Lynn, you too, you too. 
Isn't it, Flora? It's my favorite. Easy, easy favorite. I've been trying to explore other communities recently, just for funsies. I've been watching some people play Stardew, for example, and I will I will say, Stardew seems to be mwah, beautiful in terms of community as well, so just gonna shout them out as well. I know, right? I'm I'm pro pro gamer and pro tech person now. I can uh, I can I'm not even looking. I don't know if you saw. I just reached back. I I knew which button. I was like boop boop. Mm, we'll see. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Learn from the best. Recycle items like keys, hardware, fabric. Wa oh my gosh, Tammy, that's creative. Paint, ink, waxes. Also canvas art. I used to uh, paint murals. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I know a couple people who do murals, and those are a lot of work. That's so neat. Um, Tammy, I don't know if you know what Discord is. I know you said you're quite new to Twitch. If you, uh, if you know what Discord is, we have a Discord where you're welcome to post photos of that if you want to share. That seems very, very interesting. Very unique. We don't get a lot of, like, super mixed media like that in here from what I know. People usually stick to their, to their mediums, like I stick to my paint, for example. <laughs> Keys, hardware, fair, like, that's, <laughs> you know, watches. That's very interesting, Tammy. Hey, Yummy Rocks! Yeah, nice to see you! Nice to see you! Welcome back! <laughs> Super pro! <laughs> I try, I try. Kitty, welcome in! Hello, hello! Uh, we're gonna move right along to the peach now. Uh, I'm a god, welcome in! Plopped herself into the sword. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, no worries, Yummy Rocks! All good, all good. You do you, as always. Uh, for tutorial, guys, I'm going to move on to the next step here. We have the um, kind of peach color coming up here. So what we can do for peach, if you want, you can either save this pink to kind of darken up later, or you can just kind of pile stuff on top of it. I'm going to pile on top. I'm going to use a tiny bit of yellow into the pink, and that's going to make a nice peach color. So just teeny bits of yellow, and it'll turn it into a nice peach color. So I'm kind of using the light to medium pink with that yellow making a peach. The more yellow you add, the more orange it will turn. So if you think it looks a little orangey, you could just add a little more red, a little more white in there. And that'll make it a little more of a peachy tone. But again, you can experiment. You can kind of add a little bit of each color, even change it as you go. I'll start with this more. I think this is a pretty traditional peach and then we'll make it more of like a pinky peach or yellowy peach and kind of stack on top. So same idea, I'm just kind of brushing Again, kind of softly, and I don't mean softly in that, like, no paint is coming off, because you can see paint is coming off, but I'm trying to make it so that it kind of feathers at the end, so I'm just very lightly kind of wisping it at the end, kind of flicking off. You can see I'm reapplying paint each time as well, because I want each of my strokes to be very defined. And again, just kind of switching between some thick strokes and thin strokes. Uh, and you can see I like kind of piling on top of the pink a little bit, get some layering going on. And then the last thing I'll mention too is again, I still want some spaces in between, so I'm trying not to fill up the whole thing. I'm not doing like a whole just curve of color, right? I'm trying to do a couple things that are a little more, yeah, dispersed, keeping some gaps in between so I won't worry about filling up those gaps. It's not like a tree where we're filling up all the gaps at the core. We want to keep those gaps going on. So I'm just probably going to stop there for peach. Maybe I'll add a little bit of a darker peach. Maybe just to show you, I'll just mix a little more red in here. Make like a pinky peach and do a couple of those. These are all pretty colors. They all work together well, so you can just kind of stack them on wherever you want. Yeah. Not streaming oriented, what is Discord? Yeah, no worries. So Discord is like a whole different platform. It's what we used to kind of communicate with Tammy. Um, I kind of describe it as an organized conversation. <laughs> it's like, um, yeah, we have different sections for different topics. So yeah, the, uh, the app itself or the program itself is just a communication program and then uh, we can kind of separate different conversations and different topics or channels. So we have different topics like sharing art, for example. So we have a whole paint share section, a whole drawing share section. Uh, we have different areas just to discuss anything you want. If you want to just chat with anybody, there's like a general chat section. It's like a bunch of ongoing little threads and forums. Um, kind of all in one. So if you're interested, you're welcome to join in. I'll, uh, oh, thank you, CJ. Yeah, the Discord link is right there if you want to try it out. Um, yeah, not necessary though. It's just a good way to share because I always like seeing people's art, um, but I don't have link sharing on in this chat because we tend to have people who, uh, like bots who come in and spam links and that's not good. So we just ban links in general. 
Uh, but yeah, so that way we uh, we go to Discord instead, and that's where we see all the art sharing. So if you want to get inspired or if you want to share your own art, you're more than welcome to do it there. Yeah, what's up, Yummy Rocks? You said you have news. Too late, mine's all covered. Oh, sushi! <laughs> so if you cover a little too much, you could always go back with some light blue and just kind of put that right on top of your color. It'll make it look like there's spaces kind of in between. Even though you're putting it on top, it will work. Um, to make it look like, again, there are more spaces. I would just wait for it to dry a little bit, so maybe you can do a couple more colors, and then you can always go back and cover up if you need to. Um, I'm gonna move on to my light yellow, and then I'll keep catching up here. So just using my large flat brush, I'll grab some yellow paint and some white. I like to lighten it up with some white, because again, I'm doing some pastel colors first. So you can see I'm just mixing kind of a buttery uh, yellow. And I'll be applying that kind of at the bottom here. So remember, you don't want to overlap the uh, the water because, of course, the water is going to be overlapping the sky. So just kind of brush down kind of close to it. Again, or you can kind of brush on top of your other colors, just kind of allowing them to blend and mix together a little bit. And this is just kind of filling up that bottom section there. Just one color at a time. You can always go back to other colors if you want to. If you find that something covers up a little too much, you can always go back to your peach or your pink and re-add. And I will be doing that with darker colors in case anyone's wondering. So if you still feel like you have lots of gaps or you want more color in there, don't worry, that's coming right up. Snoops, welcome in. Oh dang, you paint. Yeah, I, I mostly paint on this channel. <laughs> with a name like Aaron Bun Paints, I do be painting usually. <laughs> welcome in, Snoops. How's, how have you been? How's it going? Oh, Yummy Rocks, congrats! Yummy Rocks says I have a job interview Monday. What's it for, Yummy Rocks? If you want to share, if you want to share. No worries, Sushi. It's downloading sounds interesting. And Yeah, absolutely. It's a huge resource, Tammy, especially um, in my community and channel. I really want, uh, and I still want it to be a very like inspiring, uh, resourceful place. Um, so that's why I have so many different sections for sharing art, talking about art. We have like a whole section for discussing materials, People have posted links when there's sales in there, for example. Um, yeah, just art help, art questions. So if you're kind of in the middle of a piece and you're like, I'm stuck, what should I do? Or like something looks off, people will give you suggestions and constructive criticism if you ask for it. So lots going on in there. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah, you can download it. Um, you can even open it on a browser without downloading it too, but you'll need to make an account to get in there. So yeah, take your time. <laughs> yeah, what? I paint Aaron Bun Paints? I thought it was Aaron Bun Pants. I thought she like wears pants on the channel or something. What are you talking about? Aaron Bun? I thought she like baked buns or something. I thought Paints was her name. I don't know. <laughs> How's me in position in a hotel? Exciting, Yummy Rocks. Have you ever done anything like that before? Uh, well, I've been busy late with my job. New hobby. What's your new hobby, dude? I've been good. <laughs> Aaron paints buns. Exactly. I thought she painted buns. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, it says bakes near to- yeah, I actually do do some baking, Flora, yeah, I, uh, for my birthday too, I did a, uh, cake baking slash decorating, so I mean, it kind of works, it wasn't buns, but it, it was cake, so it kind of all, yeah, kind of all works together, for sure, for sure. Okay, so everybody, if you want to add to your sky, maybe you like it the way it is. Maybe you like it very pastel-y and light. I personally do too. Um, but if you want to add a little bit of darkness to it, um, you can just start to add darker versions of your previous colors. So I definitely go in with some dark pink. I might do a tiny bit of yellow and peach, but mostly it's the pink that I go in with. So if you'd like to add even more to your sky, you can follow along with me. I'm just mixing a darker pink, so I'm mixing red with a little bit of white this time. You can see it makes it very, very hot pink. Very beautiful dark pink. And I kind of put that either on top of my lighter pink. It's still super bright. Um, or you can put it a little bit above because we have a lot of room up here. So again, just in the interest of like keeping some spaces, I'll start to disperse my strokes a little bit more. I'm not going to keep them very piled. But yeah, you can move them up the sky a little bit. Fill up as much as you want. You can fill up even more than I did. Again, mine, uh, mine just got bigger and bigger as I went. My original idea was to keep it a little more contained, but sometimes you just go with the flow, you know? Sometimes you just let the paint do what it wants, and in this painting twice, it kind of it kind of went everywhere. So. I'm just letting it be. So here's a couple of dark pink strokes just to like 
yeah, darken it up, get some new layers on there. It makes it look even more layered too, right? Because you got some lighter clouds in the background, darker in the foreground. And I think I'll just do a tiny bit of the peach and tiny bit of the yellow. <laughs> Perfect. I live in a small town. The art community is very tiny, almost non-existent. Oh, so having a community to bounce ideas off and learn. Oh, absolutely, Tammy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, like, even aside from small town, big town, it's just the pandemic right now, <laughs> you know? Like, this is why I did this too. I just wanted to paint with people and teach people how to paint. It's what I've done for a while, Tammy. And because of COVID, that was all shut down because I couldn't do it in person. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing now. I'm doing it online because everyone can safely be online, watch me online live or later on YouTube, all the rest of that. So it's a way to, to keep kind of giving that without, uh, yeah, without gathering in large groups anymore. Maybe we can get back to that eventually, but I kind of like being online. So I'll probably just stay online forever <laughs> at this point. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yes, uh, it do be horrible uh, to meet people and paint with all awful, absolutely awful. <laughs> I just stay online now. No, I miss people. I miss people. But it's really cool how like anyone can any from anywhere can watch. Honestly, that's been the biggest thing for me. I used to do it kind of locally um, around different spots and obviously it's limiting. It's like people need to drive there. They need to make plans. They need to be there, you know, in person. Now you can just kind of sit in your pajamas and paint along. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> and from all over the world. I think that's the coolest part. I meet people from everywhere. People will be watching me at like 5 a.m. wherever they are and it'll be like 8 p.m. where I am. I'm like, oh, hi, it's, it's pretty nuts. So I do really like this. It's been a really good, of all the bad things of the pandemic and COVID and all that, this has been quite a blessing for me, honestly. All right, so I'm just making a darker peach. Again, do as you wish. You can keep it really pastel if you want. I'm just mixing a little more of a darker peach by mixing more red and more yellow into my white. Now let's do a couple little strokes of that kind of on top. It almost borders on orange at this point, but uh, it's still kind of a peachy color. Oh no, that's looking fine. Sorry, I'm really freaking out about the brightness, but it's looking okay. I think it just differs on my screen, so I'll ignore it. No one's commented on it, so I don't know why I need to keep doing that. Here's a couple peach strokes, and then I'll do a couple just plain yellow strokes as well. Oh, horribly hard floor. <laughs> I ran with that one. I was like, oh, it's absolutely horrible. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> horribly hard. <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, it's horrible. <laughs> Yeah, right, Snoops? Absolutely. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> See, like, Snoops is from Sweden, for example. It's 3 a.m. there now. What a trooper staying up. <laughs> Are you gaming or anything, Snoops? You just, uh, you can't sleep tonight. Def, I live in Brazil, Indiana. I'm in, uh, southern Ontario, Canada, just if you want reference, Tammy. But yeah, we've got people from everywhere here. Everywhere. We've got a couple from Sweden in here right now. Um, yeah, America, Canada, all over. Yeah, brightness is great. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> it's three here, too. See, there you go. Netherlands. Right, right. You were discussing uh, time zones, I think, last time. You're just chilling. Okay, cool, cool. Got it. Yeah, what was that? Uh, you said you picked up a new hobby? You've been busy with a hobby, question mark? Yeah, there's another Swede in there. Sweet Swedes. So yeah, it's just really cool. I always uh, I always like to ask where people are from and their time zones because it really opens your eyes to how many people we've gathered into one little spot, even though we're all very, very different locations. It's very nice. Makes us feel a little more together in these weird, weird times. UK, yeah, yeah, yeah. Aww. Bought myself a camera, Adobe Pro. Oh, Adobe, ding, ding. Start photography for reels. I saw you posting some photos. I'm really glad you've been getting into that. Anything creative, I'm supportive of. Obviously, I push the painting hard. I, uh, I really, really pressure the people into painting. But in the end, anything creative, anything uh, kind of making, getting out and doing, using your hands, all that good stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Happy, you guys are cute. Great, welcome and hello. How's it going? Happy Friday. Same time as you, almost nine. Yeah, that's me too. Okay, Eastern time zone, EST. Nice. How are you all? Great. It's lovely to see you. Hope your week's been well. 
Comes out yesterday, just retouching some, it'll start. Awesome, awesome. I'll watch for them. Okay, I think I'm done my sky, everybody. Um, I'll just give, as usual, another minute or two if you're still working, and then we're going to start to lay on some rock. We're going to do the rock kind of here first, um, and then we'll kind of sketch out this one, and then we're actually going to do the wave and then the rock after. We want to do the wave kind of in the background, and then the rock, and then we'll do a little bit of foreground wave. You can kind of see some, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, some wave kind of sneaking over the rock right over here, for example, over here. So that's kind of our last bit after we do all the highlights and lowlights. So again, we'll go rock, <laughs> splash, rock, highlights and lowlights, and then splash to finish it off. So a little bit of back forth. I'll leave a minute or two. <clears throat> Uh, I have a pick I've been retouching for hours because I wanted it perfect. Oh man, make sure to point that out. I'd be curious which one it is. Um, do you do like time lapsey stuff? I feel like I saw one Snoops where you did a little, a little bit of a time. It was um, I don't time lapse isn't the right word. Um, kind of like continued exposure is that right? Um, of all the water kind of brushing down, I thought that was neat. It was very very soft looking. It wasn't like a still pick. It was as if the water was kind of moving. Mm-hmm. Um, Ju, welcome in. Hello from Quebec. Welcome in. Uh, Juke, Libel? Juke Libel? Maybe Juke? I'll try with Juke. If you prefer a different name, let me know. I'm trying to shorten your name up a bit. Let's say Juke. <laughs> Hello from Quebec. Hello from Ontario, neighbor. Dude, I hope Quebec is doing better. I heard Quebec is, uh, maybe lifting their, their, um, what's it? Curfew? Oh my gosh. I can't believe you guys have been dealing with a curfew, but uh, good things. I think your numbers are super, super down. I think it's lifting soon, so I hope so. Juke, welcome in. Long exposure. There we are. Hey, I was right. That was like my third guess. I know something. <laughs> yes. Yes, the one with someone sitting around by the water with a stick. Loved it. Long exposure. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yep. That was like my third guess. I know some things. I took one photography course for a week at camp one time, so <laughs> I know some things. Finally, it is confirmed. Excellent. Yeah, I didn't know if it was confirmed or just talked about Juke, but I'm really glad. We have a couple uh, couple be people from Quebec who frequent this chat, and I'm always interested in what other provinces are doing lockdown-wise, and yeah, it's been a lot to hear that you guys are continuing to have um, curfew. Yeah of all things, so uh, I'm glad that's uh, it's getting better and it's being lifted. Not just glad that's being lifted, but all the good things are happening. Yeah. I don't know if you've been vaxxed yet, I'm still waiting a little bit, but I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Henry, welcome in! Thanks for the Dorito. Chomp, welcome in. Hi. <laughs> Hope you've been well. Uh, let's give another quick minute in case anyone's finishing up their sky. I just want to make sure I have lots of time to play around with the sky, and then we'll do our first little island. Kateroo's here too! Welcome in! Evening! How's your week been, Kate? It's, it's so weird when I'm offline for like four days, I'm like, I don't know anything anymore. What did everyone do in the past few days? <laughs> you chomping me? I do now, apparently. I, I don't, I've never really been given Doritos before, I guess. <laughs> Who's that given a follow? Thank you. Uh, Hazel Paradox, welcome in. Thank you. I love this. Thank you. I'm actually teaching it step by step right now. Welcome in. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, I kind of go back and forth between teaching and painting and then chatting with everybody. So feel free to just pop in on the chat where uh, we just started talking about Doritos real quick there. <laughs> Chomp. <laughs> One more. Thank you. <laughs> I'm hungry. More Doritos, please. I feel like Tom Thinks. Has anyone seen Tom Thinks on Twitch? I know we've raided him a few times, but maybe those who are a little newer. Um, Tom Thinks is a fantastic streamer. So fun. Um, and when you throw a Dorito in chat, it actually creates an animation on his screen. And then his little uh, cartoon character eats it. He goes chomp, 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 chomp. <laughs> so I'm like the uh, the really scuffed version of that. I just go, thank you, chomp. <laughs> it's no fancy animations here. <laughs> yeah, just like Tom Gray said it. There we go. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, ducky eats it. Yeah, it's so funny. The Dorito pops on the screen. It like rolls. <laughs> it's just like vroom, vroom, vroom. all the little crumbs go. It's great. Oh man. Ah, oh, Gracie, welcome in. Hello. How's it going? That's cool. I'm more of a mixed anime, my own style. Oh yeah, no worries. Like, do you do painting or drawing with the anime? What uh, what goes on there? Long week of training, but I'm almost done with the onboarding of a new job. Yes, yeah, that's starting soon, isn't it? Uh, and then actually place in. Nice. Okay, cool. Yeah, I remember you saying that was coming up in a couple weeks. I can't believe it's time. <laughs> I feel like that was like yesterday you said that. No, that was weeks ago. Excellent. I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> chomp chomp chomp. <laughs> I just chomp. Exactly. Just the scuff version. I just like pretend the Doritos coming at me and I chomp at it. 
But yeah, Tom thinks. Again, Gray wrote it in chat. Well, she said Tom. Tom thinks is uh, the streamer, if anyone uh, cares to check him out. Highly recommend. Uh, we are at no mask, still social distancing. I've had my vaccine even though I had COVID in November. Oh, I'm sorry to hear. Um, still have smell and taste issues. I'm really sorry to hear. Yeah, I, um, I've heard that from a few people, Tammy. I hope it gets better. Um, I know you just said you're vaccinated. I've had my vaccine. Yeah, are you fully vaxxed? I heard um, from a few people that apparently the taste and smell thing comes back a little bit with the vaccine. I don't understand how it works, but some have reported that. So I'm, I'm hoping that maybe that works for you too. Um, I don't know if you're fully vaxxed though at this point. Oh man. Anyway, good for you for being vaccinated. Uh, again, I'm still waiting just cause I'm low priority. So I actually have an appointment, which is really exciting. I was on the, um, the wait list for a little bit, but I, uh, I proactively went and looked in other clinics because my area was on a, uh, a long waiting list and I said, I'm gonna go drive to get one. So <laughs> I'm gonna drive like an hour away to get one. I think it's fine. Um, yeah, in a week, it's a, it's about a week, a week and a little bit that I get mine. So I'm very excited. I can join you all in the, uh, in the one shot club. Yeah, and then shot two will be months away, but that's fine, it's fine, it's steps, it's steps. Ham, nice to see you, hello. Who's that other little heart there? Oh, Lyric. Okay, okay. Welcome in, Ham. Isn't it super late for you? What's up? What are you doing up so late? Is there a new job on May 31st? Oh, good! Charlene, that's a good change too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I'm digital artist as well as marker artist in the film photography, which connects- Oh, very cool! Wow! Some might be very interested in that digital artist and a marker artist in film photography. Hazel, if same thing, if you want to post any of that, I'd love to see kind of what you come up with. Um, Discord, I'd love to see in Discord if you're curious, if you're uh, if you're knowledgeable about Discord, if you want to learn about Discord. Hold on, I'm trying to type it for ya. Would love to check out what you do. Feel free to post it there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We even have um, like a whole digital section, so that's perfect for you. And we actually do like movie nights on Saturday. So if you're in like the film photography, you might like that too. So very cool. I'll come in. Fully vaxxed. Oh no, and it didn't get better. Maybe with time, I don't know. I would assume it would still get better with time. I really hope so, Tammy. But good for you again for being fully vaxxed. <laughs> Congrats, Hazel. One shot club. Ac excellent, excellent. Hey, me too, Sushi. Vax buddies, nice. Yeah, June 1st for me as well. World Milk Day, I'm getting my vaccination. What a celebration. I'll have a glass of milk and get vaccinated. I love it, I love it. I understand safety and appreciate it and will follow the rules, but I'm starting to feel restricted a little. Yeah, I know, Gray. D they're lifting though. I don't know if you saw the news about Ontario and our little uh, our little program. Um, are, are you talking about just like restricted home? Things are changing. Things are changing slowly, but they're changing. Our, uh, our vax numbers are going up, which is good. And they said the, the higher percentage of vaccinations, the more we can open up. So it's changing, it's coming. Yeah, Hazel, I'll look for you in there. Yeah, Ham, I added it the other day uh, while I was offline. That's one of the things I did. I messed around with the bunnies, kind of like a, oh, no, 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 please, please, can I have this candy? Speaking of candy, did you like your maple candy? I saw you got your painting. Second shot within three weeks of the first shot. Okay, yeah, I have to wait months, Tammy. Canada's uh, a wee bit behind the ball there. They're, uh, I don't know, they're doing their own thing. It's a little different, but at least it's happening, right? <laughs> I have to wait till September for mine. Maybe it'll be better. Maybe it'll like um, get better with time. But so far I'm, I'm anticipating waiting till November. Um, Starbright 87, thank you for following. Hello, I'm doing a uh, painting tutorial right now. So I'm kind of mixing between chatting with chat and teaching people how to paint. So feel free to join into the chat and I'll uh, say a proper hello to you in a bit. Um, I will catch up and chat in a second. I just need to do a little step or two here first. Um, so the next step, gotta bring this up to see, is this nice island just in the background. So we just kind of have a piece of rock just to give a little more perspective. We have lots of layers going on. Um, so we use black paint for this and then we'll actually do a little bit of highlighting on here. I don't know if you can really see, um, but I do do a couple strokes of kind of like a blue gray highlight just to give the rock a little bit of texture. So I'm gonna switch brushes. I have now kind of like a medium round brush. So anything just smaller than your large brush, just to be a little bit uh, more precise with your brush strokes. And again, I'm going into plain black paint to begin with. Um, and I like to do kind of just this little piece coming from the left over to the right. So it's gonna end off just before the right hand side. I start a little bit above the horizon line, just with like a little bumpy, you know, bumpy surface. 
I'm just taking the black paint on my brush and kind of wiggling it as I move over to the right. It's kind of going up and down, up and down, but mostly down. And then I'll kind of straighten it out near the end because it'll get a little bit straighter as if it's like disappearing into the water. I want it to look like the water's kind of overtaking it right at the end there so it comes to a nice little, little point. I think I'm gonna make this even rockier. It needs to be a little bit more up and down, up and down. That's a little nicer. And then for the bottom, you can just do a nice straight horizontal line. So you can start from the other side if you want, just to make sure it matches up. And you're just kind of bringing it along. It doesn't need to be perfectly straight. If it's a little bit wavy, that's actually perfect because the water might be a teeny bit wavy at that little shoreline, as long as it's mostly straight. Just kind of, again, connecting the left-hand side to the point. And you can fill it in with black. Passed out earlier today and I just woke up. Oh, okay, dang, man. <laughs> Dude, what? Are you kidding me? Oh, thank God. <laughs> no, ham, honestly, that scared me. I thought somebody may have searched the package and took it out. <laughs> um, I feel like shipping food is fine, but I, I kind of just second guessed it when I sent it and I was like, I wonder if like they check for that stuff. I don't know. This isn't like flying though. It's not like I was jumping on a plane. That would be. <laughs> I guess snacks are allowed to. Whatever, foreign foreign foods, you know? I was like, I don't know if they're gonna sniff that out and take it out, but anyway, it's in your belly. Did you enjoy it? I assume so if it's in your belly. You're welcome, Starbright. Welcome to the chat. Yeah, feel free to ask any questions you like. Why, you think that with the vaccine would be the same worldwide considering this is... Yeah, I don't know, Tammy. I think it was, um, I don't know the full details. I think we were just slow on ordering vaccines. We had a little bit of a shortage recently, so we've been a little slow at getting started. And I think that's why our second appointments are pushed so far in advance is because they don't know if they'll have the supply needed um, quicker. I think they need to wait for more shipments of like millions of doses for us. So um, that's why I think they're waiting to September. It's not ideal, but that's uh, what they're doing for now. Again, I have hope that it'll change. Maybe we'll get a couple extra shipments or something or acquire more vaccines. I don't know. <laughs> and then maybe we'll get it a little bit sooner. But for now, for now, I wait. At least we have the one. I, yeah, I have the one booked. I'm psyched that I have one booked right now. It's been a long time waiting, so it's okay. I'm okay with it for now. Mm -hmm. uh, a blue, gray, gray isn't blue. That's good. I'm glad. <laughs> just gray. You're just happy gray. What color are you gray other than gray? You're a gray what? Something gray, not a blue gray. And I'm just kind of smoothing out the black, everybody, because I do want to try my best to get some highlights on here. So I'm trying not to leave any big blobs of black. So just kind of smooth it out. And then that way it dries a little quicker. We'll just leave that for a minute or two. It won't need to be completely dry, just a little bit, uh, yeah, not as fresh. So I'll just leave it for a quick minute or two. Oh, she's talking about her name. <laughs> Wheezing, I just read your name. <laughs> Hazel, you're cute. Hazel's trying. <laughs> Hazel's like, actually, if you had a little... Because <laughs> that's what we're going to do. <laughs> I'm glad, Hannah. I'm glad. I'm glad you tried. <laughs> Hazel, you're so funny. I'm wheezing. I just read your name. <laughs> I'm sure Gray was just patiently waiting. Just like, <laughs> we'll figure it out. <laughs> Aww. We ordered a bunch. They're just shifted from being delivered ish. Okay, okay, gotcha. Uh, we're getting it to exactly. That's that's why I have hope, CJ. I'm thinking that maybe we'll get a lot more in the next like month or two, and then us September second shots might move to like August or July. I don't know. Maybe it'll be just a wee bit earlier. Mm, Nichols, welcome in. Thank you for following. I'm just in the middle of a tutorial right now, so I'm kind of chatting and teaching. Feel free to ask any questions. Welcome into the chat. Um, we're talking vaccines a little bit and uh, and grays, <laughs> the color gray. That was better than this. Purple gray, no yellow gray. I like yellow gray. That's good, a nice sunshiny color. Excellent. I hope you're pumped for movies tomorrow. Ours was slow at first and then opened up really quickly, so there's definitely hope. Yeah, absolutely. And even within the last month, Tammy, um, things have been like uh, really really speeding up week by week. Uh, for example, my age group was supposed to be opening up um, this week and it ended up opening up the week before and then 18 plus opened up two weeks early, I think it was, maybe a week or two. So everything is shifting a little bit. So waiting to hear when I can book first jab. And then, oh, really? Is UK going a little slow too? Dracecar, I wasn't, uh, wasn't sure of that. That's interesting. Okay, we're kind of in it together then. 
Um, again, I was on a pre-registration list and I had to actively look for other communities like an hour away to get it. So I don't know if you have that option, but worked for me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping it ships for you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, CJ's getting her second step, so that's good. Yours is very soon. There she is, there's Nicole's. How's it going? Lost all my brain cells to my LGBTQ uh, plus subscription uh, because we all know the plus of LGBTQ plus is secretly just a subscription based thing you have to pay. Wait, I'm, I'm lost, Hazel. I'm very lost. <laughs> very lost. Sorry, sorry. Looks awesome. Thanks, Nicole. Thanks, you too, Nicole. Yeah, do you do any painting at all? Maybe paint on my. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> help me, help me. <laughs> Oh man. Good, I'm always lost for it together, <laughs> question mark. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't even know your, your subscription. Yeah, I picked the movies tomorrow. I'm in control. I've seen the movies. Yeah, I've seen them. I've seen them, they're good movies, and I just want to see them again, because they're good movies. That's all you get to know. <laughs> Help, so fl Help me. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> Why y'all sweating? Why y'all capping and sweat? It'll be fine. The only thing I said is that, uh, is that they've been discussed before, okay? These movies have been discussed and I think people will enjoy them. I like to think of other people in my choices too, even though I'm doing it mostly for me. But that's, that's all, that's all. That's all I'll say. No faith, he should have faith. I don't know why he's sweating. Started out fast for higher priority groups, being in my 20s with no underlying conditions. Yeah, see, that was me too, Drayscore. I uh, I just turned 30, so I was in the below 30 category, and then I just jumped to the 30 category, so it's been kind of confusing for me too, but same thing. I'm, I'm working from home, clearly, and I understand that, so I gotta wait, and that's cool. Uh, basically bottom, right, not sure when they're planning to open up. Oh dear, so you don't even have a date. Yeah, that's, um... That's me too, Dre. For the for the longest time, for me, I just wanted a day. I just wanted a day to look forward to. I finally have that. I really hope that comes soon for you too. Um, I'm gonna quickly do the highlights, everybody, just to get back to the toot, and then I'll keep catching up here. Um, so yeah, the gray blue. Not to say gray is blue. She's yellow today, so that's nice. Uh, but we're doing a nice gray blue color for the highlights. So I'm going to mix three colors together. I'm gonna scrape the small amount of white I have here. I'm mixing into blue. And then to make it a gray blue, I'm grabbing a little bit of black. So it creates kind of like a nice highlight color that isn't a gray, it's more of, again, a gray blue. How many times will I say it? Gray blue, gray blue, gray blue. And you can see it really gets covered up by the wave anyway, but just so we have a little bit of a highlight. I like to just kind of stroke this on kind of close to the top, so I'm just kind of wiggling my brush on top of my black paint, which is still a little bit wet, but as long as I freshly apply the paint each time it should kind of just stroke on top pretty nicely it might uh, blend a little bit but not enough to concern me if anything it just adds a little more texture so i'm just kind of wiggling along catching those little highlights on the top fill in the middle a bit if you want by just doing like more layers so i just kind of go up and down as much as i want to make a new layer of rock so just anywhere in the middle wiggling wiggling There we go, there we go. Maybe a little bit more. So yeah, they're mostly big strokes. You can do some small strokes here and there if you want more uh, more texture. Captain Bacon, 35, thank you for following, hello. We'd love some bacon. You wanna share some bacon with the chat? Welcome in. I'm just doing a painting tutorial, so I'm teaching people how to paint, but I'll also be uh, chatting with chat. So feel free to join in if you want, or uh, just enjoy, just enjoy watching. Um, all right, I'll leave a quick minute or two and then we'll move right along to the next rock here. Uh, Nicole does, oh, acrylics as well, nice. Oh, lovely. Yeah, Nicole, good, good. That's pretty much all I do is acrylics. I teach with acrylics, I, I do personal artwork with acrylics, commissions with acrylics, so acrylic gang gang. Yeah, welcome in, oh my goodness. <laughs> Hard fan, big fan, big fan of acrylics here. <laughs> minimal oils, minimal watercolors, big acrylics. How long have you been doing that, Nicole? Uh, the plus is the premium version of I got Jeff Gay and just like Amazon Prime. <laughs> oh my god. Hugs people said she found them all. Is it Camp Rock? I'm not answering any more questions. <laughs> no, it's High School Musical Sweats. <laughs> she couldn't pick Tarzan and keep dreaming. <laughs> my country's still stuck at 60. Are they, Flora? Oh no. I may have watched one of the High School Musical. Really? Which one though? 
Really, Hazel? Oh, they're a fun time. They're a fun time. I think they're kind of nostalgic, though, so I feel like if you didn't watch them when they were coming out, if you were, like, in the younger age group or whatever, um, there might be a little bit of magic missing, but I, I would still recommend it. First one's fun. All of them. Never. I'm done. I'm done English. Hazel, <laughs> take a break. It's all good. <laughs> You're fine. Oh, dear. It's my background noise. You just sing along. You just sing along. Hopefully Netherlands can roll at speed up. I hope so too. I hope so. Yeah, I want bacon too. Okay, bacon or ham. Yuck, 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 yuck. Bacon. Bacon only. Same big fan, Nicole. Acrylics, yeah. Maybe. Maybe it's a captain of Canadian bacon. We'll let them answer if they wish. That's ham. Stop! Started as a kid, painting for a few years, started again too. Okay, that's kind of similar to Nina Medical. I did like more painting as a kid, did it for a very like, you know, light hobby for years, like one or two times a year, but then really got into it in the last more like five or six years. So similar, okay, cool. Uh, or when you're gay and you bring a plus one, that's the plus. Freedom Bacon, welcome in Captain Bacon. Captain Bacon has spoken, <laughs> spoken. Freedom Bacon, so not ham, you heard it here first. It's some bacon. Welcome in, Captain. Nice to see you. <laughs> I'm using too much. <laughs> first one, best one probably, yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pocket <at> Freedom Bacon. <laughs> Just the strips of that classic bacon. Not to say Canadian bacon isn't bacon too. Anyways. All right, we're going to start with the next rock here. By the next rock, we're just going to be um, kind of sketching it with white paint, and then we're going to focus on the wave and then do the rock in front. So we're not doing black paint to start. We're actually going to use white paint to start. So I've, uh, I've added a fresh amount of white paint. I'm going to keep using this medium round brush here. White, white, white. And I'm going to use the white to kind of sketch out my rock so I'm not wasting time with doing all the uh, wave stuff down where the rock will be. So I'm just going to do a very quick shape, um, kind of trying to mimic what I did in my original. So it looks like I did a small little little lump there. Again, I'm all just using white paint for this, kind of sketching out. Looks like I did a big abrupt curve up here. I really try and make it nice and bumpy everywhere. So really do some abrupt curves here and there if it's looking a little plain. Just kind of going over, maybe I'll go down, back up. Again, I'm really trying to mimic my original, but do whatever you want with yours. Down, 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 like a staircase down. Almost to the bottom, and then we're gonna come back up on the side here. So yeah, I would say um, if you're customizing your rock to something different, that's fine. Um, if you like the little areas where the wave kind of uh, crests over the rock. Maybe just make sure you have a couple little dips here and there because that'll be the spots that we put the wave kind of coming forward. So make sure you do that if that's what you want in yours. But otherwise, yeah, just nice, nice and jagged. Nice, like sharp edges here and there. Nice, you can see I'm doing some straight edges, some nice big curves, nice big corners. But yeah, it doesn't need to be exact. Again, this is really just a sketch that we can paint anywhere above it, right? Mm hmm. Freedom bacon? Is it like the golden ticket I have to give to the store clerk who gives out happy childhoods? <laughs> oh my goodness. I think, I assume they mean American bacon? Usually, um, like freedom fries, American. You guys had those freedom fries for a bit there. Hey, what? Thanks for gifting to Tammy. Hey! Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, Tammy! Tammy, yeah, you're using an emote so you can unlock those with free channel points, but Wood actually just gifted you a subscription there. Now you got them all. Thank you, Wood. I appreciate it. Yeah, Tammy. Um, so on behalf of Wood there, um, I'm being supported uh, for this month for, uh, for a little bit of money, but also it gives you access to emotes. It gives you access to ad-free viewing, so if you've had to watch any ads, no more. No more. None of that. Um, so yeah, and you got a little bun by your name now, so thanks one for doing that, it's great. You're so excited about your first one, you get them all now! Access to all of them! But yeah, I assume that's what Captain Bacon means by Freedom Bacon, the, uh, the American strip bacon. In comparison to the Canadian slab of bacon. Mm-hmm. I'll sh I shall name the rock. His name is Rocket <laughs> Grandad? <laughs> Grandad? <laughs> Rocket. I like Rocket. <laughs> We love Tammy, yay! 
how do I what? How do I get get that? What's that? The emotes, Charlene? You need to subscribe. So that's the uh, bottom right button. The subscription button. And I, I think I told you, if you have Amazon Prime, it's free, though. So if you have Amazon Prime, I can help you with that. Um, but yeah, otherwise, it's a, it's a small fee per month, but it helps me. Some of the money goes directly to me to help support me as they stream, but you get access to emotes and ad free viewing and all the rest of that stuff. And a special channel in Discord now. Secret channel. Yay! See, Tammy, you got a little bun by your name now. Fresh bun. Lovely, lovely. Okay, so we've got the white on here. So this was just to kind of sketch out the rock. Um, we're actually going to switch colors here. We want to make uh, kind of, again, a bluish gray. Yeah, it's a bluish gray. I just wanted to make sure. Because what I like to do, or what I wanted to do with the, uh, the splash was kind of make two layers. When I was looking at photos of wave splashes online, um, th they weren't all white, right? You kind of have different layers. You have kind of like a shaded kind of off-white in the background. And then that way when you put white on top, it really, really pops off the very like white foamy bits. Um, so I did actually two layers. You might be able to see if I zoom in. Maybe you see already, but I'll just zoom in so you can really see. See how there's kind of like bluish gray popping out kind of in between. It's what helps the white really pop off. So you get lots of splash, but you get these two different uh, different shades of it. So it's not like there's white everywhere. It's not too overwhelming. You have some kind of this bluish gray in the background and then the white on top. So you can see kind of the foreground, more bright foam bits. Um, yeah, on top of the gray. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do first that kind of blue gray and then we'll put the white on top as it's drying. So I'm still using the medium round brush. I'm going to mix a very light blue gray. So I did kind of a darker blue gray for this rock here. If you still have it, just add more white to it. Kind of mix it around. Get a very nice light version because we want it to be kind of more on off white. It's just going to be very, very light in color here. I'm going to add a little more black, I think. Yeah, bluish gray is nice. So you kind of get a little bit of a blue tone, you know, from the water. Also a little bit of gray just to kind of darken it a teeny bit so it's not like a bright blue. Something like that, very soft, very pastel. Okay, and we can start by really piling this on, um, you know, right at the top edge of the rock. So I'm just kind of splotching it on by using my brush and kind of tapping like this or doing large brush strokes because you can really cover up lots of space right at the top of the rock here. So feel free to be a little messier here. I'm not worried about making like any texture, any splashes yet. It's just going to be kind of covering up a large layer right at the base here because there's lots of water crashing, right? Lots of water down here and it's going to start to separate up top there. So you can just kind of border it almost with this color. We could have even started by doing this, but I just like to use white to outline because it's a little less scary. White paint's very easy to cover up. So it is a little redundant that we're going back again with this color, but again, I think it's just a little, yeah, a little less stressful to go in with white paint first. So in case anyone's wondering that, wasn't super necessary, but it's just nice. It's a nice thick layer. I'll give a quick minute. Um, oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you, Kate. Yeah, all the instructions are there at that link, uh, Charlene. Uh, but yeah, just to be clear, you need to have Amazon Prime purchase first, and that's like a higher cost. Um, but Amazon Prime is for if you want like Amazon Prime TV and quicker shipping and all that. So if you have that already, um, the Twitch subscription is actually free with it. So it depends what you want to justify with buying there. Mm -hmm. My small arson I do every chat for every streamer. Is it a tradition? Is it to create chaos, Hazel? <laughs> Are you trying to create the chaos? The chat loves it. <laughs> oh, Tammy, you rock. I love that emote, by the way. Tammy Wee's the puns, I see you. <laughs> the rock. Oh, I didn't even catch it. Hazel, you're too good. Tammy, you're too good. Y'all rock today. Oh my gosh. Everyone here just rocks. <laughs> you are all stone hard. The best new friends. My goodness. Keep them coming. I like to think I'm decent at puns, and then when it comes time to do them, I can never really do them. So I'll leave that up to you guys to keep the puns rolling. No, that didn't work, did it? I was like, rock and roll, roll. No, it didn't. I tried. Anyway, I'll get back to teaching because that's what I can do. Um, we're going to start to use this same color and kind of separate a bit. So now you can see I'm kind of tapping my brush. You can do small brush strokes either by using the tip of the brush and doing a little brush stroke or just straight up tapping it straight on the canvas. 
but I'm wanting to do that to get a little more space in between here. So I'm starting where I, again, really piled on the paint there and I'm just starting to separate as I go up. So we're starting to get some little like water droplets that are starting to separate. You can see the nice blue peeking through, the turquoise rather peeking through. So I'm keeping them very clustered still. They're still going to be kind of progressing further and further away. So I'm keeping them still pretty close together and like overlapping down here. And as they get further up, like especially into the rock area, I'm gonna to start to separate the little water droplets even more. So they'll be a little more defined, a little more further apart, lots of gaps. And I bring them far up. I like the idea that the camera's right, right by the wave splash so we can get um, the splash going way up high. So like way up into the sky here, of course, on top of the rock. That's where you're really gonna see the wave is on top of the rock. So I definitely recommend overlapping on there. My rock is still a teeny bit wet, but you can see as long as I keep freshly applying paint and then tapping only two or three times, I can get some clean strokes on there. So if you're having that issue, just keep, uh, yeah, keep reloading the brush with paint, tap maybe a couple times, and then that way you're still applying fresh paint right on top. You don't need to worry about it mixing. I'm gonna keep them closer together down here just so there's more of a transition. And especially with this gray color, I would um, I would add more than you think. I would add more than you think because the white, we're going to pile on top of it and add less of the white. So do a little bit more than you think for gray. You wanna use this as again, your base. You still want some gray to be left behind when we put the white on later. I've been trained professionally for the puns. Where can I sign up for this professional training? Good try, thanks. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it was a try. It was like half thought out and then not said correctly, but that's fine. It could have been like a really deep rooted pun if I didn't say anything. I just bet no one would have caught it. It wasn't good. Shame, shame. I'll do better next time, I swear. Each painting, I'll, I'll think of some puns beforehand so I'll be ready. I can't think of them on the spot. Not a good skill of mine. I feel like I, and probably most too, you can get in the zone with puns. Sometimes you're just not in the zone, you know? I'll just keep making more excuses for myself. It's fine. Just gotta be in the proper mood for a pun. So I'm just doing the same technique in case you haven't caught on, just carrying over. I kind of, you can see, like to focus on one spot and go up, 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 next spot, up, up, up. And then that way I can kind of see how it's all transitioning, but you can do whatever order you want. You can do kind of almost row by row, you know, small or like a very clustered and then less clustered than the least. But I just kind of work section by section personally. I'm just remixing colors. So if you see my color change at all throughout, it's just because I'm trying to match my colors and so maybe they don't match perfectly, but I'm trying to keep that same gray blue. So if you see it a little darker or lighter, it's very unintentional. It's just the way it's working out. Air might need to prep for a pun, but she's on the ball with the bun. Very good. <laughs> Grok's got the rhymes. <laughs> We've got everyone in chat. We've got all the writing creatives here. <laughs> got the puns, got the rhymers. Let's go. Poetry hour. I feel it. <laughs> on the ball with the bun. It's like I'm on a roll with the bun though, right? Cause the little rolls of buns. A, A, A. I'm really on the roll stuff right now. Drops my, yeah. Grok's like, my job is done here. <laughs> oh man. Mixtape Ace, when's it dropping, dude? Spit some bars. One stream Grok just starts rapping. <laughs> Hidden talent time. <laughs> Next stream. <laughs> you and CJ are solving mysteries and, and you're just just rapping about it. Oh, okay. <laughs> she ready. <laughs> she ready. <laughs> yeah, I think everyone would. Absolutely. We'd throw more than just bits. We'd be gifting so We'd be going crazy. Oh! <laughs> Do a whole rap battle and invite someone on. You and CJ should rap battle. As you solve mysteries, it would be such a variety hour. <laughs> no pressure, but <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> I 
Oh my goodness, I can see it now, Grok. Okay, as I move over to the right, uh, I'm gonna keep my splash a little further down just so I can keep this area a bit more clear as if some of the, yeah, splash is happening kind of on the higher edge of the rock, but then on the lower edge, it's kind of missing out a little bit. So again, you can do the same, just kind of change it up as you go. It doesn't need to necessarily be wherever there's a dip. You can see where I dipped here. I went nice and high, for example. It's kind of all splashing from around, but yeah, feel free to move the splash up and down just so it's not consistent all the way across. So I'm just going to start maybe dotting on a little bit up here and then leaving it alone. It's going to abruptly kind of come down here. I'll beatbox. Yo! Yo, be sick! Channel point redemption you each. Just stop playing and just start rapping and going. Her and CJ aren't solving crimes, they're too busy figuring out why these beats are so sick. They're sneezing on the beat so the beat gets thicker. Ooh, I have feeling you are good at beatbox, am I right? I don't know, I don't know if I've ever heard her beatbox, but I trust she could throw one down. My paintbrushes all end up drying and so I take them to the hospital and the doctors look at me sadly and tell me they died of their strokes. Ah! I honestly, Hazel, in the first half there, Really had me in the first half. I thought you were serious and I was like, oh, I can give her advice for that. And then you, uh, <laughs> you threw a little pun down. How dare you? I was ready to help. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, okay. Um, <laughs> I've had that happen. It happens to me all the time. <laughs> Death by stroke. Oh dear. Oh dear. Rap battle. I just end up spitting everywhere. <laughs> The hamsters, welcome in. I, I thought it almost said hamsters. Wow, guys, multiple hamsters are following. Hamsters, hello. I'm just teaching a painting tutorial right now. I'm kind of going back and forth between teaching, painting, and then chatting. So feel free to watch or join in the chat if you want. I'll, uh, I'll say a proper hello if I see you there. Um, not throwing up. I don't have a problem. <laughs> Keep telling yourself that. Think of the stories you've told and think about if they involve vomiting. And then you don't. Yeah, hamsters, hamsters with an N. I thought it was hamsters though, Flora. I got excited. I was like, hamsters are here. But we're still happy to have you, hamsters. <laughs> oh man. Oh, also, remember when you promised you would rap on stream? That was eons ago and nobody remembers that. Nobody remembers that. That was too, no, no, no. This is in the past. Find the VOD, find the clip. Show me the evidence. Bring it to the court. You wouldn't know much about that. Try it though. Go for it. Bring it to the attention of the board. <laughs> oh wait, Grok remembers. Dang it. <laughs> I should have I should have read one more. One more before I started roasting there. Dang it. <laughs> Grok, you're not supposed to remember. It was too long ago. Ella does sound like hamster. Welcome in hamsters. Yeah, I <laughs> I wanna ask you the lore of it because it uh just a, a quick glance, it looked like the M. I was like, hamsters, wow. <laughs> Welcome in though. I don't know if you paint it all hand or you're just kind of like watching what's going down, but feel free to tell us about your creative endeavors if you like. Oh my God, Kellyanne, hi, it's Kellyanne. Yes, I know, I miss you so much. Oh, no worries, no worries. Really nice to see you. Oh, I hope the weather's getting better for you. I know it was sunny here today, so I'm sure it's a little more sunny and nice where you are. Uh, my dad's actually in that area, he said it's very buggy right now, so I'm sorry about that. But either way, Kellyanne, it's really nice to see you. No worries, you've been busy. Have you done any painting at all? Definitely painting this soon. Yes, there it is. Excellent, excellent. We all get busy, Kellyanne. It's no worries at all, especially with things kind of changing around the areas and stuff. So yeah, you do you. I hope school's been going well. Uh, if you want to talk about what you've been doing in school, feel free. I'd be interested. But I'm glad you're painting this one! This is a pretty unique one, Kelly, and I was really happy with it. It's uh, a lot of kind of abstract stuff going on and the wave that we're kind of completing here. But uh, yeah, really like how it turned out. I'm glad you like it too. Really nice to see you. I appreciate you popping in. <laughs> it's okay, you don't have to be hamster. See, we accept everybody. <laughs> Off to a flying art. <laughs> this is all you need uh, just to find life. Oh my god. <laughs> a flying art. I should use that all the time, Hazel. When I don't paint for the first hour, this is a meme for those who are new to the chat right now. I almost never paint in the first hour unless I'm doing a tutorial. I just chat the whole time. 
I should just start with that every time. Like, well, we're off to a flying art. Oh, <laughs> when I finally start painting after an hour. Um, Haniel, Haniel. Uh, most people call me Hanny, but my, my really good friends call me Hansters, and I like. Oh, that's cute. That's good. That's good, Laura. I like that. I figured it was a play on a name or something, like Hannah or something. Yeah. Haniel, Hansters. Yeah, that's cute. It's cute. Again, you don't need to be hamsters. We'll find other hamsters. You're hamsters. <laughs> Thanks for explaining. Lots of love, a bit of painting, pharmacy assistant. Oh, wow, congrats, Kellyanne. Very cool. Yeah, keep working hard at that, yeah. Use painting when you need a little relaxation or something. Yeah, I'll, I'll post this on YouTube as soon as possible. You can see I've been uh, catching up on posting to YouTube, so I'll get this one up soon enough, soon enough. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm not sorry about this. <laughs> I might be, I don't know. My chat might hate me the third time I say it. I've been painting since childhood and I recently joined Twitch. Oh, now I stream. Oh, lovely hands. There's lovely. Do you do acrylics or something else? Yeah, explore away. The art community is fantastic. Uh, yeah, what mediums do you paint with? Stunk in the comfort tone for my art and I'm still struggling. <sighs> comfort tone. Okay, 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 okay. I'll get you out of the comfort tone if you want. I'll teach you. I'll teach you. I'll teach you about different tones if you're stuck in one comfort tone. Yeah, Hansters, do you have any questions about Twitch, let me know. We are all new once, so don't be afraid to ask anything. We're pretty open. Um, all right, so now that this is on, everybody, I'm actually going to switch and do my little black, uh, black layer of my rock because I want this blue-gray to be a little more dry because we want the white to go on nice and clean. So I'm going to take this opportunity to fill in my rock. So I'm just switching to black paint. And you can now do a nice, like, clean edge. Clean edge on this gray. You can, again, overlap the gray if you need to, or just go right up next to it. But the black will be, um, yeah, very easy to kind of go on top of if you need. So, yep, just fill up that whole rock with black paint, just like we did with the first one. And that way we have time for that to dry before we put the highlights and lowlights on it. So this means we'll need to be a little bit careful with the white when we apply it, but we can again just go a little bit above because we have this gray layer, so it's not a huge deal to go a little bit above and we can add some white later on right at the uh, right at the rock outline if we need to a little bit later. For now, just uh, yeah, apply that first base coat. We want a nice dark base coat so we can get that kind of golden tone. We have some blues going on in there later. Yeah, kind of a unique rock. Welcome to the Twitch. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Flora. Oh. Ain't hugs and buns. Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> we do art, we hug, and we, we eat buns. We talk about food a lot, too. <laughs> so there we go. <laughs> the look of disappointment. <laughs> the tone one got me. I'm sorry, Hazel. They've all been great, but the tone one, I was kind of like, eh. <laughs> I'll tell you my honest thoughts. <laughs> Use acrylics. Ooh, me too! We started with watercolor, then gouache, now use all, uh, one of the three. Now use one of the three? Any one of the three. Gotcha, okay. Pretty much clear. Yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. I don't know if it's, like, about the platform or streaming in general. Happy to talk to you about it. I'm, I'm just under a year in, so I'm still, I would say, semi-fresh as well. I don't know how long I can say that for after a year, but I'll keep saying it now. Um, yeah, cool. I've never tried gouache. I've always wanted to. I do like my watercolor here and there. I do bullet journaling and I'll do watercolors in the bullet journal. Otherwise, not a lot of like watercolor art. It's mostly acrylics for me. You can see I'm teaching it now. Um, I do commissions in, in uh, acrylic. Personal art in acrylic. Yeah, all of it. All of it. Oh, cook. Okay, cool, cool. Excellent. Yeah, I do a couple cooking streams here and there. They're a lot of fun. Have you had a chance to do both cooking and art? If so, I want to know which one you like better. Cooking streams can be fun and chaotic. Yeah. You can't say it after a year? Dang it. Dang it, it's after a year. Okay, I'm gonna say it even more now then. I have like a week left until my one year. So I'm gonna say it every day. I'm so fresh to Twitch, guys. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, Grog, I only changed my about section like a couple weeks ago and I realized my about section still said something like, I'm still new to the platform, so I appreciate your patience. And I was like, dog, you're like 10 months in at this point. <laughs> you can't say that anymore. <laughs> I'm still exploring, so I appreciate you exploring with me or something like that. And I was like, no, I'm lying. <laughs> I had to delete that. I was like, no. <laughs> 
I don't know if you can call yourself a fresh streamer with 3k followers, Aaron. You are like a streaming guru. Oh, get out. Now you have to know everything. Oh, absolutely not. I still feel clueless all the time, Flora, I swear. <laughs> I have so much more I want to do and so much more I want to customize and I still haven't gotten to it, so I keep saying I'm fresh. I'm still learning all the time. Still small potato. <laughs> I like the art, good job. Oh, thank you, thank you. You remember that? Yeah, it's- I haven't changed my about a whole lot and I just recently did it. <laughs> I'm still new to the platform. <laughs> Ten months later, I was like, no. <laughs> I can't say that confidently anymore. Alright, same thing as usual, everyone. I'm just kind of like spreading this out so that it dries a little bit quicker. No bumps, no big bumps of paint. So just kind of wiping my brush along to make sure there's no, uh, yeah, no ridges hanging around because those will take longer to dry. And just cleaning up edges. You can see I'm really trying to get a nice, uh, nice kind of clean and thick edge on each, each part of the rock here. So you can see it's very defined now, very defined. Quick second. Exposed for, for nose blowing. Ah. <laughs> oh wait, I went into the other frame I just saw. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> oh man. I like talking through the process of what I'm doing. Me too! You're great at streaming then, I'm sure, because that's what you need to do. You gotta talk talk to the chat, talk through your process, all of it. Drawing this painting is a cute little girl. Wait, you will be, Hazel? We never stop learning. Absolutely. What did I say? What did I say, Flora? <laughs> Oh, things when I say it, I just leave my brain. And we are just doing the white, not the gray, right on the rock. Uh, yeah, we didn't do gray on the rock. If Yeah, yeah, we were just doing the gray kind of above, if that's what you mean, Charlene, yes. I mean, uh, use gouache mainly like thicker water. That's how I, yeah, I've, I've heard uh, hamsters that it's like, it's like kind of a combo of acrylic and watercolor, and that really intrigues me because watercolor I don't like as much because I feel like I can't correct mistakes with watercolor. If I mess up, I mess up and I can't do anything. Acrylic, you can do lots of things if you mess up. Um, and I feel like gouache is kind of like a, if I'm saying it right, I still hope I am. I've been saying it for months like that, gouache. Um, yeah, it, it's something you can still kind of correct those mistakes, but you can water it down here and there if you want it to be like watercolor. So I've been intrigued, yeah. I can talk when I get started. Yeah, true. You're saying right, thief. Okay, because I heard someone else say it uh, differently recently, like another artist on Twitch, and I didn't want to question them on it, but I just started thinking, am I just saying it wrong this whole time? I think they said like gouache, like really defined two two syllables, and I was saying gouache, <laughs> so I was like, uh oh, <laughs> oh man, I'm a fraud. Clipped it. Oh boy, I'm gonna check the clips later. I don't know what I said. Yeah, maybe it's, um, it was, um, someone with an accent, so maybe it's just, like, a regional thing? Yeah, I think it's the re- there you go, okay, cool, cool. That's fine, yeah. As long as I wasn't botching it, I just felt like a fraud hamster, so I was like, <laughs> I don't even paint with the thing, but I, I just want to say it right, you know? I just want to know what I'm talking about. <laughs> gouache, gouache, yeah. Just, like, wash, wash. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you've been enjoying that and just kind of using uh, using any one of them. I uh, I keep saying to myself I want to expand from acrylics and then I try oils and then I'm like, nah, and then I go back to acrylics. So, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should keep pushing myself to try other things or just like stick with acrylics. That's what I want to do, but yeah. Think of gulag. <laughs> Being sent in the gulag. <laughs> yeah, we don't want that. Boys, I'm in the gouache. You'll have to wait for me for a second. <laughs> oh, that's funny, the gulag. Okay. <laughs> Sent to the gouache. <laughs> I'm just using white now, so I'm using the same brush. I've washed it off. And I'm essentially just doing the same thing I did with the blue-gray, but with white. The only difference is that I'm adding a little bit less white so that I can have some of that blue gray showing through. So we don't really want to like literally pile it all on top so we're covering everything we did because that would be a waste, right? So I'm kind of separating the white a little bit more, kind of tapping it on a little bit more so that we have almost like a border of uh, blue gray here and there, right? It's almost like a little shadow or another layer of water. 
So same idea. I just kind of like to work section by section. Again, if you're scared of going too close to the black paint because it's freshly applied, you can just leave it for now. That's fine because we will be adding white at the very end kind of overlapping, right? So you can always do that later and overlap later. For now, you can just concentrate on covering most of the area above it. So yeah, tapping, stroking it on, any of those techniques is fine. If you like lots of texture in your painting, you can even like literally blob on the paint so that some of it is raised. So it looks like the water's like popping off of the canvas. That would be pretty cool. So yeah, feel free to experiment that way. So yeah, especially in this middle part, you can see I'm kind of clumping a bunch together, still leaving some gaps. And as I get further up, I'm just separating things a little bit more, making little water droplets. Same thing as with the blue gray, just a little bit less. Uh, when it comes to the individual droplets up here, you can see I'm kind of dotting the white on top of the blue gray, but just a little bit off. So that way I have a little bit of a border of blue gray or blue gray kind of showing on the left or right hand side. See like that. There's a little blue gray here, a little here, a little here. So again, I'm not covering up all of my hard work and just kind of complementing it with some uh, with some white paint. So yeah, just uh, enjoy the process. You can go nice and slow with this. It's pretty straightforward, but like calming techniques. So yeah, just lose yourself in all the little dots. I'll keep chatting as we go. Uh, feeling the oil painting thing. I got some, but never used them. Too complicated. I, uh, yeah, I don't know why. I love the idea of it though, hamsters. That's the problem. That's why I keep going back to it. Um, I watch other streamers who use oils and uh, I've watched tutorials and videos on YouTube about oils and I want to be able to use them because I love, I love what is produced with them. I, um, I keep saying I want to do like a cloud series in oils because man, I, it's hard for me to do really soft clouds the way I want to in acrylics. I can do lots of different different kinds, like even not as abstract as, as this. I can do some cool, like in my opinion, cool layered like fluffy clouds, but I still want to obtain this like just total softness and I still can't really do it with acrylics. And I just think oils is like the answer to unlocking that. So I keep, I keep saying I want to go back just for the point of being able to do that. <laughs> if I can do that, that's great. Um, that There's a rose painting back there. That's in oils, but that's not even completed. So I just want to at least complete that, try out the cloud thing, and then maybe I'll kind of unlock more with that. But for now, I'm just kind of stuck. I'm just like, eh. Yeah, it's it's the setup for me too. I said, you said too complicated. Um, it's just the setup for me. I just hate like getting all my little um, mediums together because you have to mix a bunch of things and prepping your palette. Like I guess some were taught to do that and they almost find it soothing, but I was not. You can see I just blob onto a plate and then I'm good to go. And that's the way I like to do it. So the idea of like spending 30 minutes beforehand prepping a palette, just, <laughs> it's just not, I'm not used to it. Especially when I'm streaming, right? I'm not planning that far in advance. I just want to be able to dump paint on a plate and go. So, uh, yeah, that's my struggle with it. So if you're slow, yeah, I would think you would like oils, right? Because they take a while to dry and that's why I want to do them for clouds and stuff. Anything soft because I want to just blend for hours versus acrylics, as you know, dry so, so fast. <laughs> it's okay. I'm okay. I'm never using them. <laughs> I dry brush to get soft. Yeah, that's what I end up doing, hamsters. I feel like it, it works for a while for me anyway. And then I hit a point where it almost gets patchy. Um, again, I've done it before and I think like semi successfully, I do it a lot for my tutorials and I really like what I do. Um, but I just, yeah, I want to do more, more, more. I want to do like long, long sessions of just doing clouds. So I don't know. I could keep trying with acrylics. Um, I just keep thinking that oils are my answer, but yeah, maybe I'll just keep trying with the dry brushing too. I've seen people do it with a little bit of water as well with acrylics. I don't know, that scares me too. I don't usually use water with my acrylics, but. Uh, Tammy, I've got to run, thank you all. Oh, you're welcome, Tammy. No worries, no worries. Hope to see you back. Um, if you have any questions about Discord, I know you said you're new to that, just, just post anywhere in there, uh, mainly the general section if you can find that, but we'll direct you around, okay? So just ask any questions you like. Again, we're all very friendly in there. Thanks for hanging out. There is water-based oils. Yeah, Henry, people keep telling me that. And I'm wondering if I should just bite the bullet and invest in that because I have a set of oils that were gifted to me a long time ago and uh, I know they're not water-based and they're quite smelly and I keep worrying about ventilation and that's a whole other thing as well. So 
Maybe I should look into the cost of that and see if I can justify it. It's, um, I just worry that I'm gonna buy it and then never use them, so... Low priority in terms of what I need to spend money on, but I appreciate it, Henry. I, uh, I think that would be the answer for me if I, if I had more funds right now to purchase that kind of stuff. But I got other priorities right now. I gotta open up this art shop first and sell some stuff, and then, uh, and then we can think of cool things like that. We can get into different mediums and experiment. Yeah. Grapeseed oil, break down the oil. Yeah, I have a bunch of, like, linseed oil stuff up there. I don't know. I'm impatient, fast drying is better. Oh, I see. Okay, what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm same though, like I like to layer things on top. I like to kind of correct things as I go. And I know you can do that with oils by moving things around, but I'm not used to it. I'd rather just pop something on top as you can see me doing a lot here. Not necessarily to correct, but just to, just to paint, right? I want to layer it. I don't want to deal with blending all the time. So yeah, it's a weird, it's a weird battle for me because I see the pluses, but at the same time, it's it's just because I'm so used to acrylics, as anyone would be, right? They're just used to their medium. It's hard to switch, for sure. Um, I use water all the time with acrylic. Yeah, I use it sometimes. I don't uh, I don't like to water it down too much. I don't like to uh, kind of play with water as something is on the canvas. I find sometimes the water kind of like pulls up some of the paint, even if it's dry, and that's why I get worried about it. I do it a little bit, but. Yeah, I've seen a lot of artists use, um, yeah, like watered down acrylics. They'll like put water on their plate, kind of thin it out and then use them. So that's interesting. Um, snatch this gun. Oh, nice, nice. Keep going, Hazel. Started with watercolor, so I feel like I work off that base knowledge. That makes sense. I technically, I would say started with watercolor too. I watched Bob Ross who does the oils. But uh, I feel like most started with watercolor, like in, you know, elementary school, you'd be given a little watercolor set or play around with those because they're quite cheap so that was kind of my start too but I would say more seriously acrylics yeah maybe I should just look into a starter kick Henry I need to when art stores open up again they're all closed right now here <laughs> when they open up again maybe I'll do a little a uh, little walkthrough of uh, one of my local art shops and see what I can find yeah water based I'd be curious less setup mm-hmm make washes okay I've done it before for flicking which I'm actually gonna do next by the way um, but yeah other than that not usually it's like for stars and stuff I'll water it down and then flick and I'm gonna do that for the uh, for the splash actually actually I'll do that last I'm not gonna do that next I do it last because I have the splash coming up here but yeah you'll see me do it <laughs> I bought a starter kick of a uh, kit of water oil still haven't used them oh Henry <laughs> Maybe we can use them together. Maybe if I get one, I'll, uh, I'll start streaming it and I'll inspire. Hopefully, hopefully. That's what I'm worried about. Same with the uh, gouache. I would love to try it out, but I'm worried it'll just sit there. Cheaper supplies. Yeah, maybe. Swish and flick. The swish and flick. The guardian Lebiosa. Imagine I just started doing that casually. Just little spells every time I did it. <laughs> Definitely for stars, yeah, stars, splash. Um, and I've done a little bit of watering down when I want to blend in a fun way. Like, I don't usually blend by watering down, but when I do like galactic skies, sometimes I water it down and then kind of move all the paint around. That's really fun too. So yeah, a lot of sky stuff I would say I uh, use water for. Okay, so I've got the white splash on. Maybe I'll leave a quick minute in case anyone's still working. Um, differences I'm noticing, it looks like I almost left a little bit more gap in my original here so if anyone's liking that better you can always again re-add the gap with the teal or with that gray blue color you can kind of pile it on top here and there just to go on top of the white but yeah that's the slight difference i'm noticing just in case anyone sees that this one's a little brighter not bad though not a bad thing really just more foamy it's just brighter right in front of you so yeah um, a lot of sky art. I do a lot of like nature kind of landscapey type stuff hamster. So I think uh, in general, yeah, it usually involves like some sort of sky. So I'm always experimenting with clouds or what's in the sky. Uh, yeah, nighttime stuff. I love the galaxy stuff. Um, I still, again, same thing. I feel like oils, I can maybe do a little bit different galaxy things uh, with blending for sure. Uh, but yeah, I'm still experimenting with different, uh, different techniques for galaxies in terms of uh, 
Uh, you said dry brushing before, using water uh, in your paint, things like that. But yeah, I say I would say most of my paintings have a, a fair amount of sky element to them, or just like landscape, nature, outdoorsy feels. Yeah. Um, if you check out my Instagram, you can see more, and you can kind of. Oh no, wait, there isn't the little thing. Usually, I have a little uh, a video of all my my art kind of running around, but during a toot, we don't have that. Anywho, I'll uh. Instagram for you. Nope, that didn't work. That was Instagram. Do, 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 do. There it is. If you want to check that out, you can see all the uh, all the paintings I've done. Nighttime and evening just for you, but just for you. My mom, we are having french fries tonight. Me, please don't, unless we're buying them. My mom, no, honey, I'm making them. Plus, why do, why do you not like homemade? It's the same amount of money for oil potatoes. Stop being moody, french fries. No, they're not. You want fast food french fries. I see. <laughs> I was gonna say, what's wrong with some homemade fries? <laughs> oh, man. Wait, why is Streamlabs still saying that? I changed this. I changed this. Thanks, Grok. I see you with the socials there. I'm yelling at Streamlabs about the learn how to paint. People know this. I'm teaching them how to paint right now. Well, that's a mistake. That's weird. Hmm. It's turned off right now and it's still running. Okay. Okay. Streamlabs just is doing what it wants right now. I turned it off and on again. Oh well. She bullies me into eating here normal fries. I'm salty about it. You salty about your salty fries? Oh dear. I <laughs> didn't intend that pun, I. <laughs> I caught it, I loved it. It was a good one that time. <laughs> yeah, it's salt to the fries. Fast food fries are definitely better than homemade. <laughs> Everyone's on your side, apparently, Hazel. <laughs> Depends from where, though. Start, start the fry debate. Best fries, what restaurant, what fast food? Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> I love potatoes, me too. I can't buy them because I'd eat them all. <laughs> thank you, see? <laughs> Add some salt to the fries. All right, I'm gonna go ahead with the tutorial. Tell me what your favorite fries are in the meantime. Um, so we have two colors in the rock. Let me just zoom in for you here a bit. So again, kind of a different little bit of a rock here. We have this kind of like golden color here, almost like a slimy color for the highlight. Yeah, golden kind of slime color. And then we have a nice kind of dark gray blue again down here, almost like a navy gray blue. Um, so we get some like highlights and lowlights just to make the rock kind of pop out a little bit more rather than just like a big, uh, yeah, big black blob. We want lots of uh, texture and ridges on here. So let's make that first highlight color and then we'll use the low light color. Um, no, wait, sorry. Let's go. Let's do the blue first. I think I did that during the original there. So let's do that dark blue first. I'm still using the same brush, this medium round. I'm using blue paint. I'm using a little bit of black. And you can add white just a little bit if you want. It'll help it kind of pop off of the rock a little bit more, even though we're just kind of keeping it a darker color. The white should help it pop off a bit more with the transparency of the blue. Depends what good quality paints you have, but I just I end up adding white to a lot of colors just to help it pop off. So it's still a nice dark color. It's still a nice shadow color, but we still do want it to show up off of the black, right? It would be a waste if it didn't. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm not really t picking spots in particular. I'm just adding large blobs of this blue, kind of carving out little sections. And again, there's no real rhyme or reason to this. I'm sorry, I wish I could give you more rhyme or reason to it. Usually I have like methods to this madness. Um, but I was honestly looking at a reference and just kind of uh, seeing where the ridges were there. So that kind of tells me you can pretty much choose wherever you want. You can just do kind of large blobs of this color to mark off where you want some shadows to be. So maybe it's like along an edge, for example. Maybe it's, uh, they're probably gonna be further down too. They're not going to be usually along the top edge. So maybe keep that in mind. But maybe there's some like down here and you're just essentially showing the viewer, um, you know, little textures on the rock, different layers of the rock, right? Rather than just having it black. You can keep some black spots, but we're adding some blue spots and then we'll add some golden spots as well for highlights. But for the blue, you can see I like to do kind of like clumps of blue as if there's just like edges, edges kind of being shadowed or maybe with like a little bit of light there. So there's one there. I'll just add like a nice big blob in here. 
I'm truly just trying to kind of replicate what I've done already. But truly, you could um, you could just kind of add wherever you want. As long as you're leaving some gaps here and there, you're not going too far up. You can maybe start like a little further down so you're leaving a top edge for the highlight. And again, trying to do some like abrupt curves, straight lines, things like that. I wouldn't do a lot of um, a lot of round edges or anything. You can see lots of straight edges, corners, things like that to make the rock look very jagged as a rock would be, right? In and out. I wish we had in and out here. I love in and out. When I traveled to LA, I had in and out multiple times. I've been twice to LA. But yeah, no in and out in Canada, unfortunately. I do enjoy McDonald's rides as well. They're uh, they're a little thin, but they're classic. They're nice and uh, crispy as well, for the most part. Um, Tachi Heart, welcome in. Thanks for following. I'm just uh. I'm almost finishing up a tutorial right now. I'm teaching people how to paint this step by step. If you have any questions, let me know. Feel free to watch or pop into the chat. We're discussing fast food fries right now. <laughs> our favorites, where our favorites are from. Um, I like Wendy's fries as well. I've kind of rediscovered Wendy's a little bit. I've always liked Wendy's, but I feel like I'm going there or was going there more often. I'm trying to eat healthier now, but for a minute I was going there and uh, I do really like their fries there. They're really salty there. Yeah, McDonald's are great though too. <laughs> I've lived Hazel, it's just not consistent unfortunately. I don't consistently live a good life apparently because I'm not in uh, West Coast or LA. <laughs> again, no in and out here unfortunately. All right, so again, just large blobs, large sections kind of mi middle or further down and then we'll add some highlights on top. Wendy's in the Frosty Classic. Mm-hmm, McDonald's are amazing, especially with ice cream. Yeah, I guess this is more common, huh? The hot fries in the uh, in the cold ice cream or frosty. Partial ice cream and fries. Uh, no. <clears throat> Excuse me, and lol, not any around. I'm on the East Coast. I've never seen one. Oh, for in and out I gotcha, I gotcha. I felt that. I only eat fries with ice cream, vanilla ice cream. If I could always do it, I absolutely would. <laughs> it's not so sweet and salty, delicious. Mm-hmm. It's so good. I'll try it again. How many times have I heard the word fries? I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I know. I knew that would happen, Flora. Now everyone wants fries. What? I don't know if I've ever had Whataburger fries. I think I've... I'm trying to remember if I've had Whataburger. I think I did, Todd, and I wasn't very impressed. I don't know what I had, but I remember being kind of disappointed by it because it was hyped up a lot for me, and then I was like, ah. I forget about the fries. Oh, sorry about Automod there. Automod has been catching a few things, but you guys are fine so far. <laughs> Wendy's my name, Biatch. It didn't like the word Biatch, but you're fine, hamsters. Arby's curly fries? Oh, I almost never go to Arby's, though. Sweet potato fries are good. It's four at night. Dog made me want fries. Wait, what? Four at night? <laughs> oh, see the battery, man. We usually only go through two batteries. Costco fries? I haven't had Costco fries in a minute either. Where's my other battery? Hello? There's a battery missing. Maybe I threw it over here? We'll try this one. I don't know if this is the one though. It's exhausted, give it a minute! that one dies, I have another one that's already charged. I just can't find my fourth one. I thought I grabbed two earlier. I don't know where the last one is. Oh, it is over there. Shoot, that's gonna be a low- that's gonna be low battery then. I'm gonna switch that real quick before I start because I know that's gonna die. Oh wait, no it's not. That's the dead one. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. <sighs> Keep talking fries. I'll catch up in a second. Um, I'm just going to do the highlight on the rock now. I've continued to zoom in so you can see. Uh, we have this kind of like golden color. It's like a golden murky color on top. Again, very unique rock, I know, but this is a pretty like unique painting, I think, in terms of colors and stuff. So we're going to keep with it. So I'm using my medium round brush again. And I'm going to mix yellow. I'm going to try and get a clean spot over here. Yellow, um, a little bit of red. 
So it's kind of like a golden yellow color. And to make it a little bit murky, you can add just a tiny, 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 tiny bit of black in there. Because we kind of want it, like I keep saying, it's like a murky golden yellow. It's not like the brightest golden yellow. You can keep it golden yellow just by doing uh, yellow and a tiny bit of red, but I put a little bit of black to make it a little more murky. I don't know what other word to use to describe. It's almost like a pukey color. I don't want to call it puke though, because that's yucky. But it is kind of like it. It's like a dirty golden yellow. You're kind of dirtying it up. It's almost like bordering on a weird green after adding that black. But yeah, this one here, you can see it's very different than our nice bright yellows we had earlier. So for this, um, you're kind of thinking of top edges of rocks. Again, you don't need to hit every single top edge, but kind of looking around and seeing if there's any black spots on the top. I like to just kind of cover those with this murky golden yellow color. So I'm kind of doing a nice, uh, nice section here, just kind of going around. And then I like to kind of trickle it down. So I try and do some thin little strokes kind of coming down. Again, it makes it look like there's lots of little ridges on the rock. So they start to separate. You can really see some little layers going on, like there's rock, 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 kind of all in front of each other. One little section or one little layer at a time. Yeah, and as long as you're going in any black areas, you're not going on top of the blue, that's, that's really good. You can uh, kind of curl around them a little bit. Just stop whenever. And again, you don't need to cover up the whole area. You can leave some black showing, of course. That'll be like the very, very dark spot. So don't worry about covering every single area. That's kind of the point. These areas are just uh, small parts of the rock. You're just pointing out little crevices and little, little edges and stuff. So yeah, I'm just using the tip and kind of wiggling these down as they go to make it look like there's, there's more texture kind of down there. It's like it's almost dripping off, but it's a highlight. Doing this top edge here. Super tutorials are good with more salt. They are good. They're they're almost like a, a completely different fry though. Like I need to be craving a sweet potato fry, you know? And that's not often. I usually go for my usual, usual potato fries. Arby's curly fries are banging. Costco has fries. Yes, apparently they do. I know them more for their hot dogs, personally. The only brand mentioned so far that we have in the UK is McDonald's. Oh no! You don't have Arby's in the UK? Really? I thought Arby's was pretty international. <laughs> Makes innocent face. Automod no like me. Our Automod's pretty strict. I don't know. We've told our Automod multiple, multiple times certain words that we don't mind and it just still says no sometimes, so... Oh wait, everyone's shocked at Costco having fries. I feel like I knew this. I just haven't really indulged in them in a little bit. Am I wrong? No, I feel like this is a known thing. I'll check next time at Costco, because I'm gonna go soon, I think. Meant don't nut dong. Okay, I was trying to figure it out, Flora, but no worries, I don't mind that word. It was more so like, what are you saying? <laughs> don't make me want fries. I see what you're saying. Tachi, hey, my favorite right now is Camel Brownie McFlurry and Rally's fries. Oh, what a combo. We were just talking about the ice cream fries, but you got it down to the specifics. Oh my goodness. Welcome in. You are fully welcomed here with that combo. Wow. Crinkle cut or worst fry? I don't really like crinkle cut either. It depends. It depends what you do with them. Uh, who has those? Burger Shack, is that right? I think. Not biggest fan of any regardless of craving because you don't really like potato. Oh, yeah, I, I love my potato. I love my carbs, love my pasta, uh, any and all, any and all. <laughs> the snack that Fana smiles back. That's goldfish. That's little crackers. In Canada, we have um, smiley fries. We have little discs of potato and then they have little happy faces in them. That's like the snack that smiles back. Heck yeah. McCain smiley fries. I feel like you guys have them. They're just not McCain's. Other countries would have those. Scaredy! Wait, wait, wait. Let me catch up on paying in my head. Okay. <laughs> We're almost at the end, but I believe you can. Welcome in, Scaredy. <laughs> With frosting. What? It's a mustard color? It's true, it's true. Yeah, this is kind of like a fry dip color if you like mustard with your fries. It's so true. It's very mustardy. Thank you. I was struggling with other words to describe this, but it is quite mustard. It's very Dijon. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> yes, it's mustard. It's bad mustard. <laughs> Canadian Costco may have different than you than American. Maybe. Who said Costco fries? Was it a Canadian? Wait a sec. Sushi. Sushi's not from Canada though, no? Or wait, no, you are. Wait a second. Mine turned into orange. Um, you can use a tiny bit of black and maybe more yellow if you want it less orange. No, sushi is Canadian. Yes, yes. Okay. So this makes sense. So Americans don't have fries at Costco? Oh. I kind of like when we figure out things that we have as Canadians, honestly, because it's always the other way around. You guys have all the cool stuff and then we're always left out. We have french fries, ha 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 ha. <laughs> Culver's White Castle, Arby's had crinkles. I don't know if they still do. I haven't been to any of those places recently, so I couldn't tell you. I can't, it's not Burger Shack. Is Burger Shack a place? What's, um, there's one that's iconic that has crinkle fries. That's more of a uh, fast casual burger spot. They have the cement, the cement, uh, like, ice cream. Good smoothies. I, I haven't eaten at Costco in a while, apparently. <laughs> Floor is the snack that smiles back. <laughs> you guys have amazing invention that is dessert fries? I, I assume dessert fries, not desert fries. It's an extra cake scraps you make into fries. No, I don't think I've ever had that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You're painting a dog instead, okay. <laughs> you do you, scaredy. <laughs> Yes, sushi. I mixed that up for sure, but now I know. Max, welcome back. Hey, sup? How are you doing? We're discussing french fries from uh, fast food places if you want to join in. Um, your favorites. You also have coloring changing spoons. Apparently, I looked again, Scaredy, and I could not find. I will continue looking for you. I'm worried, though, that maybe they were so limited time that I can't see them anymore. I'm gonna continue looking though. I'll go to yet another grocery store. There, there's a bunch around me, so it's really not a big deal. I'll just keep making note and looking. Like I was out buying cake ingredients for this weekend. I couldn't, didn't see any. I'll keep looking though. I'm sorry. I feel bad that you bought the Pokemon cereal. I assume you'd eat that though if you're not sending it to me, right? <laughs> I assume you'd indulge in that being the Pokemon fan you are. All right, my mustard color is maybe a little bit darker than my original, I'll point that out. So if you want it a little bit lighter, you could add a little bit of white to yours. But yeah, otherwise pretty similar, it's same idea anyway. Uh, maybe I'll start to lighten it up just a little bit to show you, and then we can start to um, do the last step, which is uh, just piling on some white on top so that we can get some kind of splash on top, as well as the flicking of the white, we can't forget that. Okay, yeah, so here's what it looks like a lot lighter. So if you want, you can always change that by adding more white. I'll just kind of demonstrate by doing a couple of these areas here. Just so it's a little closer to my original. <clears throat> no worries, hamsters. Nilu, hills colors can also be done in the same way. Uh, hill colors? Like for like grassy hills and stuff, Nilu? Yeah, sure, you could, um, you could just do like lighter versions if that's what you mean. And just kind of picking out the tops and bringing some little sections down, if that's what you're asking. Yeah, definitely. Like the basic, yeah, basic idea. Mm-hmm. Burger Shack has crinkle. Is that what I'm thinking of? Yeah. The cement. Concrete. I mean concrete. You're right. Not cement. <laughs> yeah, I mean concrete. <laughs> they both do. Are you sure it's- no, it's concrete, you're right. I'd like an order of cement, please. I'm gonna say that next time I go to a burger shack in America. <laughs> Can I just have the cement? Oh man. Culver's has con- I've never been to Culver's, so... I'm screwing that up. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, my favorite fast food fries is Wendy's. Some have said Wendy's already, and I agree that Wendy's is pretty top-notch. It's just hard to beat McDonald's. It's hard, but Wendy's is pretty nice, too. I've been growing uh, loving Wendy's more and more recently. My dad, we were going to Canada. Me, really? My dad, oh, not you, just me and your mom cries. How are they able to get in? Can you tell me, Hazel? <laughs> Pre-COVID, oh, dang it. <laughs> dang it, Hazel. <laughs> you gave me some hope. <laughs> I'd like to know how to cross the border, thank you. <laughs> 
Our country's very closed right now. <laughs> oh my god, if I got to pick a base, it's solely on potato fry- uh, potato sides. It's checkers! We don't have checkers in Canada either. I don't know if I've ever been to checkers either. There's a couple spots I still haven't been. I haven't been to Jack in the Box, I haven't done checkers. Um... I've been to Sonic only once, I want to go back. I feel like I didn't get the full Sonic experience. Yeah, there's a couple iconic ones that we know from commercials in Canada, but they're not here. I just want some some flavors of slushies, man, from Sonic. Oh, you didn't just want the box, you wanted the cereal too? Right, right, I'm gonna go back to the... <laughs> Don't rush back until I find you your spoons. <laughs> Imagine I get empty cereal box. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> what the heck? Basic. Yeah, no worries, Nilu, no worries. I have to vote Costco fries. I'm gonna get fries next time at Costco. It's official. I think I've had them before, but I'm not remembering how good they were. Yeah, cup of cement. <laughs> what what am I thinking of then? It's not is it Burger Shack? If you mean we as an America, we for sure do. I don't know if I'm screwing up the name. The the the, the logo is like a little uh, bun and then just like lines and then a little bun. It's very simple, very uh Again, they're like fast casual dining. They make quality burgers. Yeah. I'm sorry, Wings. <laughs> Shake Shack. Is that what I'm thinking of? Yeah. I think I made up the word Burger Shack or it's from a show or something. Where is Burger Shack from? It's not. Yeah, I knew it was off. I could uh, get over the border by hiding inside a washing machine. Just vibing. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks. I'll pass along that strategy. <laughs> Washing machine. Vibing. Got it. <laughs> Thanks for the lurk, Max. Nice talking to you for a little bit there. Same, same. I'm gonna start saying cement and stuff like Aaron now. Oh, oh, oh no. Um, <laughs> yeah. Walks up to Shake Shack, calls it Burger Shack. I want a cup of cement, please. <laughs> oh my god. What is Burger Shack, though? There's gotta be a Burger Shack somewhere. Checkers has seasoned fries, they're so good. Don't get me started on Sonic Tots. Yeah, I want Sonic forever. I feel like I didn't experience Sonic when I went there the one time. Said word, Shake Shack. Okay, yeah, we got it. <laughs> we figured it out. Thank you, thank you. What the heck is Burger Shack? Wiggles about and we don't have really a fast food aside from Turkish pizza and pizza here on the countryside. Oh, okay, just based on location. Checkers is rallies. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew there was like a duo for that one, but I haven't been to either. Okay, if you've got the highlight done, I'm just on the last step here of adding some white on top of the rock and then some splatter. Um, so I'm just going to grab some white paint on my brush first and just very plainly kind of just wiggle it down on top of the rock here. Again, I like to stick to where the little crevices are here, so I'm just kind of tapping with a little bit of paint so it comes off nice and soft. I want it to look like it's very kind of transparent against the rock, so tap, tap, tapping. You can see it's a... Uh, yeah. Just a light little layer kind of splashing down. You can maybe splash some from down here if maybe the water is somehow curled around, you know, it's splashing up into the rock a little bit. But yeah, I just do it minimally as if it's really truly coming from this side, but there's still a little bit leaking out. And then maybe some like right here, it's just starting to crash through. Tapping away with a little bit of paint. That way it comes off nice and splattered and also transparent. They're starting to come through there. Yeah, very minimal. I think I'm just gonna stop right there for that. And then I'm going to start flicking on some paint. So if anyone wants to get a little messy for the very end here, I'm just gonna take my same medium round brush. I'm dipping it in water. I'm going to mix it into a small pile of white, so this is just kind of thinning down the white paint to make a little pool or a puddle of uh, thin white paint. And then I'm going to use the bristles with my finger, pull back, and flick. And that just gives a little extra splatter. It gives it a little more of like a, a real ocean spray, you know? Rather than all our little dots, we can get some actual splatter going on. I think this really makes it right at the end here. And if you get a little on your rock, that's okay, right? You might see a tiny bit. It's as if the splatter's already kind of come down, it's just kind of going a little on top of the rock. So I don't mind if the rock isn't, you know, completely clean. I think it kind of adds if there's a little bit of splatter on there. Flick, flick, flick. Flick, flick, flick. There we go. I'm gonna go way up to the top here. Nice. 
Yeah, it's almost nice if you purposely do it a little bit on the rock. See that? Just kind of just starting to come over. Cool. So that's the last step of the painting. I'll give it a little signature. I'll do a tiny little catch up on chat here, but I'll probably just do my little closing announcements and fully catch up because there's lots of writing to get through. Uh, Y'all to the Google who must find it. Yeah, honestly, I don't know if I've just made that up, Hazel, or I heard it somewhere. Burger shop. I knew it was wrong though. You heard me doubting myself. I feel like Pam got DoorDash in my ear while I get his McDonald's. Oh. Oh, there is, Hazel, there is. I wasn't crazy. Oh no, it doesn't even deliver. McDonald's is the one that I can always rely on, even late at night here. Comes out of Shake Shack and then local restaurant called Burger. I don't think it's a local one though. I don't know. Only one we have, we have small hamburger places. Gotcha, yeah, makes sense, Flora. I won't pay DoorDash fees to get McDonald's. It's true, yeah, that's probably fair. Moved to my area this week, so I imagine some other places will join in. Yeah, I, I bet they will, Shannon. I think it's a pretty good option for some. And pizza, yeah, classic. <laughs> mm -hmm. Side note, your vibe is super chill. Oh, thank you. Is it Tachi? If I'm mispronouncing, it's like Takey. T achy heart or Tachi. Very new to Twitch. Wow, so many new people to Twitch today. Uh, refreshing to see art and watch someone that streams genuinely interested in helping us. Oh, thank you. Again, if it's Tachi, let me know if that's a yes or if it's something else. <laughs> I'd love to uh, learn for you. Uh, but thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, you're one of a few who have come in today who have said you're like brand new to Twitch. I don't know why there's a new wave today, but I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, and I'll keep offering. I'd love to teach you a little bit about Twitch too. I'm still semi new. I'll keep saying it under a year. Um, so we're in this together. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions to make you a little more comfortable. If there's like buttons that you don't know what they do or like things that people are referencing, I'd love to tell you all about it. So yeah, thank you. Thank you. Lumpy, a quick hello, a quick hello back. Hope your week was good, Lumpy. Hope it was a little less stressful than last week. It's the weekend. You good, you good. Nice to see you. Burger Shack. Oh, come on. Cookout. I've heard of cookout before and I haven't been. Yep, big fans of cookout here. I see. <laughs> Aw. Cool. MS Paint. <laughs> Commoner, welcome in. Hi. Yes, totally done on MS Paint with my fingers and brushes. Absolutely. Hello. <laughs> I specialize in the art of MS Paint. Thanks for the follow. <laughs> If you want to learn more about MS Paint, please follow me. I'll be doing MS Paint tutorials from now on. <laughs> oh, wow! Drayscore, thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate it. New, new, new. Thank you so much. Big hype. Oh my goodness. Sad words, thanks for the follow. All in one big wave, all of you guys. Big hype. Thank you all. Okay, I'm just going to uh, wrap up the tutorial, but I'm still here chatting, so I'm not saying goodbye quite yet. I just know that some people join in for the tutorial and then like to uh, get to bed. So I'll just say thank you very much for those who came out. Um, I'll keep saying it always for those who are looking to support me. Just being here really helps. So thanks so much for choosing to watch me live today. Um, I'm just navigating over to the Facebook page to open up our event page for posting. Um, I encourage people to post photos if they painted along with me today or if they create anything. If you want to just be like, hey, I use this as art time and I created this, I'd love to see it. Um, so here's a little bit of info on where you can post some photos. Um, but yeah, I'm opening up the Facebook event because I feel like that's still the most popular place to post your photos. People will just make posts into the event and uh, show off their work. So feel free to do that. Uh, Discord's also a good spot. Instagram, if you tag me or do hashtag Aaron Bun Paints or something, that'll all work. Uh, but yeah, I'd love to see what you made. It's kind of weird not seeing what everyone's making while I'm teaching them, so feel free to share. Um, if you're looking for a new tutorial, I actually don't have my next tutorial scheduled. I was planning on doing a tutorial design offline and I didn't get to it this week. Um, oh, I don't want to leave. My goodness! Anonymous gifted to you. E oh, thank you, Ewok! Is Ewok here? Thank you, uh, thank you, Ghosty. Thank you, Ghosty. Oh, Ewok, I see you! Same lumpy, no worries. <laughs> Quick hello to you, Ewok. Sorry, I think I, uh, just skipped you right before I started doing the tutorial ending, but hello to you too. Um, I don't want to schedule a draft. I just want to do that. What's going on? Anonymous, thanks for gifting to Max Erickson too. I know Max did a little, um... Huh, sorry guys, I can't update this. This is weird. 
Um, either way, I hope you're able to post the Facebook event. I'm sorry if you can't. Seems like Facebook's doing something funny to me right now. Thank you again, Ghosty, for gifting. I don't know if you're the same Ghosty, but another one. <laughs> Ghosty, thanks for gifting to Sedwards, too. Sedwards, you're a bun, too. My gosh. Um, new tutorial. Is that a cheer, too? Shannon cheered. Thank you, Shannon, for 20 bits. My goodness. Thank you all. Um, if you're looking for another tutorial, yeah, I don't have one quite yet up, but I will post that up for next next week. I've decided I'm not doing a tutorial next week because I actually have a, uh, a private event Friday and then Saturday is going to be bullet journal day because uh, it's the last Saturday of the month. We're doing bullet journal journaling on last Saturdays. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll be doing it on uh, the week after if you want another tutorial. We're going to have a week break and then we'll do another tutorial after that. So yeah, bullet journaling Saturday. I'll be offline Friday for a private painting tutorial. So that's why I'm shifting it a little bit. Flora, thanks for gifting as well. Um, to Hansters, Hansters, you're fun now too, my gosh. Thank you very much. What is this hype train subject? It's here now, you've uh, you've made it arrive, you little conductors, look at you go. Let's see, Oop. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> I'll try my best to keep uh, wrapping this up. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much though for all that support there. Yeah, uh, for those who are looking to give more support again, being here is great. Everyone here is going above and beyond by gifting subs, subscribing, giving bits. All of those help me um, directly financially. So thank you for those who are doing that. Um, if you want more information about that, you can do exclamation tips in the chat. It can tell you a little bit how to tip me if you want to do that. If you'd prefer to just straight money for the free tutorials, I appreciate that very much. Thank you, Grok. Um, again, never obligated, just appreciated. And um, yeah, Prime, again, if you have Amazon Prime, you can subscribe for free, folks. So just pointing that out one more time. Uh, and then Drayscore, thanks for gifting as well to Snoops. Oh, that's really kind of you. Thank you. You subscribed yourself and now you're gifting. Thank you so, so much. I love gifted subs. I said it before during my birthday. Gifted subs are great because everyone benefits from it. It's really, really nice. So thank you, Drayscore. I appreciate it. Um, and then if anyone's watching and wanting to uh, paint along another time, again, this will be uploaded to YouTube hopefully in the next week or so. I always aim for a week. Sometimes it gets backlogged, but you can look for it on YouTube. Otherwise, it is here on Twitch pretty immediately like you could go back and watch it right now if you want so yeah that's available to you as well uh i don't think there's any more things to say in terms of wrapping up uh so i'll just leave it at that if you gotta go if you're done the tutorial you gotta go to bed or wrap up your evening i understand thanks for coming out and i'm still gonna chat with all of you who are still here we have a hype train going and i want to make sure i didn't miss any comments so thanks for coming out if you gotta go i'll see you at the next tutorial i'll post about it on facebook discord everywhere else as usual so you can keep track of that Cool, cool.